All right, hopefully this is actually going to go live and it's not going to like wipe out again because there's actually a reason why there are three different live streams for this all going at once because YouTube decided to go shoot their live streaming right in the head. Like I wanted to set this at ultra low latency so you guys didn't have to like, I don't know, be like three seconds to three minutes behind on chat lag. So the dashboard for your live shit just kept rebumping itself and rebuffering itself and kicking me off live like three times in a row and then has the temerity to pop up an error message that says live streaming isn't available right now well, that was a fun headache to deal with thank you youtube at least i've got the proper level of frustration and anger needed for what i'm gonna watch god i mean it's like with google can you just make the website so unusable that it's to the point it doesn't even load anymore like you just go to youtube.com and it's just a fucking 404 because you've broken the entirety of the website god damn i mean i i, I swear to god like live streaming I, I you know it's not like a, an exact science i understand that but the fact is it should not kick me off like three fucking times in a row jesus christ get it together you know Oh, you, you weren't using the right stream key. You weren't doing that. You, yeah, I was doing everything the same way I should. It just needs to just start. Just get your shit together. God damn. Okay, so as the title implies, by the way, how's the connection coming through? Because it looks like it's rebumping and rebuffering a lot on my end, which means it's probably goddamn terrible on yours. Uh, it's crystal clear. Cool, because it's rebuffering like shit on my end, which is in the little stream window here. So I have like the dashboard up on my other monitor, and then I've got the, the Vimeo shit up on here. Okay, well, as long as the image and sound is clear. God damn. Oh, so yeah, like I said, I'm at the proper frustration level, the proper ugh, level. All righty. Yeah, no shit. Rage and coming. Uh, <laughs> crystal quality rage incoming, Hastrovex says. Yeah, pretty much. Jesus, I feel like the Doom guy after he just ate one of those Berserk Pack things. Oh, holy fuck. Let's see. The proper level of misery. Yeah, no shit. Because I don't even know if those other streams are still running. So I don't even know if they decided to go live even without my knowledge. So you probably do get to see me just screaming at YouTube and fucking yelling at my computer. Oh, God. All right. So on uh, Vimeo here is a re-upload. He finally responds about a month and a half in, you know, as you do when you're uh, accused with <laughs> accused with evidence of being a. Uh, you know, a pederastic wonder baby, you know, somebody that likes to go and find girls in emotionally abusive situations or emotionally tumultuous situations and fly them out to, their, to your house so they can be the next doll you pull off the shelf and use however you want. Oh, Jesus. This is his fucking response to it. T-Bone Howard goes, do you, uh, did you see the Chris Hansen video of you, uh, an Onion? Yes, I saw both. There's two. There's one with Blair White. There's one with Repsion. Both excellent. Repsion, my man, you are fucking killing it. God damn, that was excellent. <laughs> What's even greater about that, by the way, is that Chris Hansen's main audience, aside from people like us, of course, are boomers. And they spread stuff like this, like wildfire. So what's been going on is that a lot of older people have been sharing the Chris Hansen interview with Repsion and Blair White around on Facebook, which means that it's, <laughs> which, which means is that it's getting passed around to like PTA and parent groups and shit in their local area, which is excellent, which is exactly what you want, which is exactly what it needs. But it's, it's, it's fucking hilarious. Like moms and PTA people have been passing it around to like, um, you know, neighborhood watch pages and shit, and shit. <laughs> which is which is wonderful, which is absolutely wonderful. So, yeah, this video, it's on Vimeo. It's a re-upload. 
It's a re-upload from uh, Patreon because, of course, you know, Patreon, of course, for the money, $350,000, $350,000. You wanted $350,000 for a fucking interview. The, the, what balls, what balls, what balls do you have? Hey, yeah. uh, So you want me to respond to this for $350,000. So go ahead and fucking uh, put it on Patreon for like pennies on the goddamn dollar anyway. The same shit you would have probably said in the, in the Chris Hansen interview. What, what, why 350000 by the way? Because that's such a specific fee. Is, is, that, is that how much you owe the IRS? <laughs> is, is, that, uh, is that what... Uh, <laughs> is that what it's going to cost to fix the wetlands? <laughs> He's going to build a $350,000 fence in his backyard. Is it going to be the Great Wall of Onions? He's going to have like like vineyard vines with onions coming off it all over the fucking thing. His decoration. All right. You know, Nia Purdue goes, be happy. You can get a chance. I'm going to show your comment. Sorry, it gets auto blocked because of YouTube. It says, be happy. You can get a chance to clear your name. Exactly. The chance he had, the best chance he had to hopefully clear his name. He just shot in a fucking foot. Nice. Fucking nice. Uh, see his live stream on Billy Don Webb. No, I haven't. I, I, I don't know if this is it or not, but I haven't seen the live stream of it. This is not a live stream video I'm about to look at here. It's actually um, it's actually just a Patreon pre-recorded video, but it's re-uploaded because like, fuck, I'm going to give this motherfucker money. Bullshit. T-Bone Howard goes, or not T-Bone Howard, uh, random guy goes, what do you think of the Squire Contemporary Series guitars? I don't know. Haven't played them. Would like to try, though. Squire, if you're listening, um, I'll do a gear review if you send me a guitar to do a gear review of. I don't mind. I've played your guitars before, and I like them. They're very nice. But I haven't played the Contemporary series. Um, Thrash Metal Guru, how's it going? Does Onion realize what an absurd amount of money that is? No, I don't think he does, and I don't think he cares. The guy bought, like, $800,000 houses like they were nothing, okay? And fucking claimed individual rooms of the houses as tax write-offs because he filmed a video in there. I don't think he has any idea of, like, what the value of money is. He was so bummed he couldn't drive a Tesla anymore that, you know, he basically bought a shitty used beater truck and then I think resold it just to go buy another Tesla, so who who fucking knows he wants to play 4d chess with the irs like that's a smart idea what's funny is that if you ever watch batman the animated series you know that onion like he like idolizes the joker well in that animated series the joker won't even fuck with the irs in one episode he basically takes like a big bag of cash and like oh i've got to get my taxes done you have to be crazy to screw with the irs (laughs) and here he is you know all right, so there's enough people in here. I think I can get this going. All right, let's let's go. Let's fucking let's go take our brains out of our skulls and throw them into the fucking blender that is this shit. How long is this? 10 minutes? Oh, damn, it's only 10. Well, yeah, it's not too bad. We'll be answering questions. There's also uh, before we go, um Hellbound Iscariot at Stevie Wolf. There's also some allegation that he's likely selling child pornography on Patreon. I've heard that allegation, but I don't know what the proof is behind that. He has shown really hardcore hentai to his Patreon donators in Discord before during like little things he does in there. I know that has happened. And some of those people are underage. That in and of itself is illegal. You know, even if it's like a quick flash, it don't fucking matter. He's done it, you know. Uh, mentioning, by the way, animated Batman shit, apparently one of the things he showed was some obscure Harley Quinn thing where she was getting raped by fucking hyenas in the t- a Batman animated series. She has, like, hyenas that are, like, rabid hyenas as pets or whatever, as you do, I guess. And there was one where they were, like, fucking her, and it was horrible. It's like, yeah, show that to a bunch of kids. And according to some people that commented on it, it was really, really obscure. So you had to actually, like, go out of your way to find it. It's fucked up. <laughs> it's like why would you even have that like why would that be, why would that even be on your hard drive you fucking degenerate holy shit logan looker says why would anyone animate that <laughs> 
Welcome to the world of hentai, where you will ask that question a lot. <laughs> you know, you, you will find stuff out there that will make you question, why would someone draw that? Why would someone animate that? Junji Ito, I believe is his name. Look up that guy, and it will make you ask, why would you draw that? A lot. All right, let's see. Anisi unlikes hentai. Well, at least he has good porn taste. Depends on the hentai, okay? It depends on the hentai. Some of that shit makes people wonder if you're not, you know, you have a white panel van you live in down by the river, okay? It really depends. Is Anisi on trying to ruin the Batman universe? Yeah, by just idolizing Heath Ledger's hook, uh, Joker. I almost said Hooker for some reason. Uh, not to say that it's a bad representation of the Joker. Heath Ledger's was legendary, but it's like, you know. Anyway, here we go. Let's go. Let's go dive right into the fucking acid bath. All right. Let me know if you can hear What's his audio. What's up, y'all? I have become the bread oh, and shit, butter. Oh, shit, I can't hear it. Of a lot of people's... Why can't I hear his audio? Oh, that's because my fucking speakers are turned down. Shit. Well, let me know if you can hear his audio, and then I'll restart this, because like an idiot, I had my headphones plugged into a mixer that was on mute. So let me know really quick if you could hear his audio. Okay, good. What's up, y'all? I have become the bread and butter of a lot of people's uh, dopamine kicks. Oh, well, for me, that was opiates. And nice fucking hair, by the way. You totally don't look like some crazed fucking maniac that sends mail bombs to people while living in the fucking woods. It totally doesn't accentuate your big-ass forehead to the point you look like that one guy on the Jedi Council from the first Star Wars, like, movie, the, uh prequels. What was that guy's name? He was, you, everybody, you know who I'm talking about, right? He was like, boof. You know, penis head Jedi. <laughs> Jesus. And yeah, the rancid bread on the fucking moldy, you know, the rancid butter on the moldy bread. Nice. And their actual income. A guy named... Oh, yeah, my actual income. Yeah, you know, I'm making so much fucking money on these videos that I've done over the years that were not monetized. And the only time I was on a network, it was for like maybe two or three years. I'm making so much fucking money. Yeah, bullshit. Okay. You know, I love that shit. Oh, look at the many had made Repsion. Yeah, he, he makes other videos too. In fact, I'm pretty sure he makes more money on fucking merch sales and shit than he does fucking videos like yourself. Because he does sell merch and he does other things too. You know, bullshit. This, you know what? Fucking make this video money, okay? Because I'll put it to better use than this guy will. I won't use the money to go fucking fly underage girls out to my house. I'll use it to buy more musical equipment and shit to make music to share with you guys with. It'll actually go to something good. So, you know, any of his Patreon pay pigs out there that are fucking watching, send your money to me. At least it'll go to something besides a fucking paper shredder, practically. Jeff keeps emailing me basically everything that y'all are up to oh hi jeff go fuck yourself jeff by the way it doesn't really help that this person you're saying with the j's here is named jeff because guess whose name also apparently begins with j yours so maybe you're just sending all these emails to yourself for the sake of this fucking hyperbole here dipshit see all those j's yeah those are all the jeffs so i'm I looking at a j start. right now and it's short for jerk off from the beginning his first email says a list of women coming out against you on twitter and why would somebody need to fucking send you emails by the way about all this when you can just fucking make a sock account twitter to add to your fucking like stadium of sock accounts right now and just look yourself like why the fuck would anybody need to send you that bullshit somebody sent you that bullshit you it's totally superfluous it's totally unnecessary their handles and in that list i see people i either never dated or i kicked out of my life so so who gives a fuck if you kicked them out of your life does that make you feel better that you did that you won you won the relationship gregory you won 
You kicked them out of your life. How much better were they for it? Probably a lot since they didn't have to fucking deal with you anymore. But the fact that you're a fucking greedy sociopath and they were out on their ass with no fucking money, no resources. Oh, yeah. Fucking how fucking wonderful to pride yourself on that, you worthless piece of shit. Tyler Knox asks, are you going to talk to Chris Hansen, man? I don't know. I don't know. I would love to. I would love to. I would love that opportunity. And trust me, it would be a lot less vulgar than this is. Okay. It would be because I can understand the necessity for that on his, his platform. But uh, I would love the opportunity. I would love the opportunity. I'm really confused. Like just a bunch of people who are pissed off. You mean your ex-wife and people that you invited into your fucking home? I mean, people I don't know. You know, I, I didn't know I was married to this person that I went through a divorce with. I don't even know who they are. I mean, I guess they must have been just living in my fucking house and went overseas to a military base and shit with me. I didn't fucking know. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? And wow, I, I love how this motherfucking image applies solely to him. What a dumbass. What a dumbass. Why do I care? Y'all ever have like a, a nutso in-law? Well, I apparently have an ex-in-law who's just going all over Twitter losing her mind. We're talking you mean your ex-wife? And get rid of the Nine Inch Nails shirt because guess what? A band with consummate artistic ability like that does not deserve to be ruined by this fucking waterhead. Oh, someone of like nine years ago what the fuck something my ex why are you pretending you don't this is this thing that really fucks me off you are pretending to be aloof to all this you know whenever something comes into your court you know and you have to be an authority on it with your bro that looks just like it's sinking even further and down your face to the point that your eyebrows will be at your fucking bridge of your nose in a couple of days you know it's just you 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 are such an authority on it when you need to be you know, I don't know. I mean, these people, they just came forward. And I, I mean, I dated them like nine years ago. But whenever I need to conveniently fucking say something about it, you know, to cover my ass, man, I'll be out there with the facts. You know, I'll have like a fucking ply board board on my wall with my little pins and, and my little uh, string going to my conspiracy theory to prove my shit right. Bullshit. But now you pretend you're aloof. It's like, depending on what you're talking about, your personality completely and entirely changes. Bullshit. Ex in law said is that there's allegedly a collection of photos of her, an adult woman, on my computer when she's actually a porn star and the photos are online. <coughs> far down the goddamn toilet of go, like going as low as you can fuck yourself oh you despicable worthless ass hey guys i'm gonna go and fucking slander my fucking ex-wife sister because guess what she did shoots with suicide girls back in the day so let me go take a picture of a bunch of fucking pigs with tattoos on them to go slander them because i'm such a charitable fucking feminist isn't it funny 36 year old pay pig that fucking sends me money in my discord and fucking sticks up for me fuck yourself you're sitting there making fun of the way she motherfucking looks and you're the goddamn cocksucker that was pining over her while whining to your ex-wife about the alimony you had to pay for what, nine fucking years? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You fucking asswipe. Oh, what a fucking cocksucker. Oh, Jesus. Oh, how fucking charitable. How fucking, oh, you know. Not saying anyone's a pig, but shut the fuck up. I thought it was a funny photo. That's why I put the Suicide Girls logo up on it. While I sat there and beat my meat feverishly in the shower at the image of fucking her. Even though I was married to her sister. Jesus Christ, you know. I he, uh, You used to take like two hour long showers. You know what they probably look like? Why would you fuck me? <laughs> I can't believe I did that in front of 120 people. But yeah. Oh, by the way, sorry neighbors. Um, sorry, neighbors. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The woman in question is not at all a pig. Go fuck yourself. Like, I believe you believe that. Bullshit. 
You you fucking piece of Not shit. Not my computer. I, I, you, you piece of shit. shit. That's just one of the many things people try to. And it's funny too. You're gonna slander the suicide girl's look, and that's exclusively what this. Look at this fucking face. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is fucking great. Holy shit. Let me get let me get my thing up so I can um. Let me get my thing up. I'm not gonna be able to get my thing up looking at this, but let me get the image up. Look at this. Look at that. Come to my house and be part of my harem so you can help me reattach my eyebrows to where the fuck they're supposed to be on my face. Hell, holy shit. Look at that. God damn, look at the jaw structure and shit. Is it completely plastic now? You gonna fucking go to task with a fucking Ken doll? You're gonna talk shit on somebody else's fucking looks and you look like this fucking freak of nature with more plastic in your face than a Barbie doll has in her tits. Jesus Christ. Oh, son of a bitch. Imagine that fucking face staring at you. In a, I almost don't want to make this joke because to, I'm not going to do it. it. It was something about having to stare at that face when you're in a high school and maybe some serious shit's going down, you know. <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to, you know. I'm not going to make a joke about what kind of obvious type of dude this guy was in high school, you know, with the trench coats and you know where the joke's going, foster the people. All the cool kids who make fun of his small dick. <laughs> Pen on me, that's just irrelevant and not even a thing. I think somebody told me something about making fun of her nipple. That was my ex-Canadian girlfriend. She made fun of the nipple. If anything, I, I may have... Uh, who gives a shit who the fuck did it? You're the one that made the video. Stop sloughing the blame off on somebody else. You're such a pussy. You can't take accountability for shit. You made videos making fun of their boobs. For what fucking reason? You put a fucking picture up there comparing them to a pig. So I'm not saying thy ex was a pig, but I'm just saying, hey, remember that time you did a, a suicide girl shoot? You remember that time I put it out there on my social media? Ugh. Jesus. You know, <laughs> I'll be honest. They circulated. I saw while they were circulating because they circulated around Tumblr for a bit. This is jealousy. This is pure and simple jealousy. You get to look at what the fuck it is Kai's turned into over the years, and then you see those pictures when she did that shoot, and you are just so goddamn jealous that you have to deal with whatever it is that fucking this goblin that you're married to now is, you know, sitting there with, like, fucking pimple pock skin like your own, fucking predating young girls just like yourself, and then you're sitting there talking fucking shit about somebody you wanted to fuck for fucking years while you were married to their sister the sister that you threw under the bus for somebody you treated just as fucking shitty as you treated your ex-wife and everybody else you've been with and then you're gonna sit there i'm gonna prepare into a pig because they're making people look at me in a way that hurts my fucking feelings it's <laughs> my feelings guys why can't anybody be nice to me be human <laughs> This is like therapeutic. <laughs> Holy shit, thank you, Thrash Metal Guru. He goes, love and support you, bro. I should make a t-shirt that says that, just to make money off his insanity. I don't care. Just to make money off the, the fucking stupidity of Onion. Not the suffering of people, okay? Do not fucking misconstrue that, okay? But just his be human shit, I think would be funny on a t-shirt. Okay? Don't take, don't take that the wrong way. What he does to people, it's fucking terrible, it's fucking deplorable. But just because he thinks, oh, all you guys are doing is making money on me. Okay, well, if you want to accuse, maybe I will just a little bit. With your be human! Fucking dipshit. Let's see. Passed it on. I don't know. I just want you guys to know if your if your nipple is misshapen or something, you're still just as good. It's just Greg, your nipples aren't even in the same fucking area code. Look at a goddamn picture of yourself shirtless. One of your weird fucking man tits is like way higher than the other. 
Your whole body looks fucking weird. Why are you talking shit about somebody else's fucking goddamn looks? In fact, here, let me fucking do this really quick. Let, let's go fucking go down a stroll down Insanity Lane. Let's see. Do, 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 Onision shirtless. Let's go fucking look at the goddamn fucking insane fucking fuck here who wants to go shit on somebody else's fucking looks. All right, let's go. Come on, Firefox. I know that I'm using probably more tabs than I should be for doing a live stream since it's already fucking, um... Oh, God. I can't even believe this shit's going to be in my hard... My, my, uh and the cache on my hard drive for Firefox, you know, because the government spies on everybody. They're probably going to look through my fucking shit. You know, somebody at the NSA is going like, Ooh, who's this guy? Jesus Christ. He does bad YouTube videos. I didn't know he was also gay. <laughs> who's this guy? You know, uh, let's see. There's one in particular that I'm going to try to find because we've all seen the vegan body where his chest looks like the craters on the fucking moon with pimples and shit. Uh, let's see. But there's one in particular... Some of the older anti-Onision people or the, the people within that general community probably know which one I'm talking about. It's on a green background. And it's just like, it puts his entire physique into context where you see, uh, where you just see like how fucking weird and misshapen his body proportions are. I guess this one works. This one works too. Oh shit, there's one with the caveman brow. Okay, I'll get that one next. Okay. Let's see. Um, come on, hurry up. Open link and new tab. Let's see. Where's the one with the one with the caveman brow? You get to see fucking, you know, protolithic man fucking staring back at you here. He's gonna talk shit about somebody's body. Have some insecurities, pot belly. Fucking beer gut. Let's see. Oh, come on. This is fucking taking forever. You're ruining my goddamn com my comedic timing here because you're taking so long. Oh, Jesus. Oh, great. It loaded the entire fucking blog. Great. At least there's a picture of Blair White at the top. It's also on Tumblr's fucking terrible website architecture. Oh, Jesus. This is going to take forever. Because it's one of those linear blogs that just keeps fucking loading. Oh, Jesus, that's fucking wonderful. Holy shit, that's horrifying. You know what, fuck it, this is a better image because fuck Tumblr. Fucking get a website programmed by people that know what they're doing. Not some website that sits there and loads like it's a fucking GeoCities from like 1997. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's blow this image up a bit, even though I don't want this burning into my screen. Look at this shit, ladies and gentlemen. You know, if your nipples are misshapen, if your nipples are misshapen on my fucking sunken chest, look at this other bicep. Look at it pointing in two fucking... Di You're talking shit about somebody else's nipples while yours literally face two fucking different directions. And look at that fucking brow. What is that? What in the fuck is going on in this image? What is this fucking, like... What am I seeing? What is this Botoxy fucking brow that's just like, pfft, holy shit. What is wrong with you? How could you talk shit about it when another person looks with your fucking weird, fucking strangely bumped map physique? I swear to God, you look like a fucking Second Life avatar where somebody just took all the body shape sliders and just fucking did them all randomly. You know, you got this fucking abomination that doesn't even make any goddamn sense. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Hey, ladies. Do you want a piece of this? you want a piece of this dad bod? Do you want a piece of this flabby fucking grotesque fucking monster that just leaks and seeps grease out of each of its pores with its nipples and the two different area codes? You want this brow just you know, to reset every morning because it keeps falling off my fucking face every night? You used to make fun of Michael Jackson's nose because he had, like, fucking facial plasty or something to, like, fix his nose. And people would make fun of it for, like, falling off. I always thought that was kind of a cheap shot because he was already pretty insecure about his looks. But, like, this dude, I don't care. You're going to shit on somebody like that because you're jealous you didn't get to get with them. And you look like this. You're, you, you are in a form judging other people's appearance while you look like this. The kind of person I'd see emerging out of their fucking house with like a Walmart bought AR-15 to go shoot at the FBI. 
Are you are you fucking serious? Holy shit. Okay, uh, delete, because I don't want Anision shirtless sitting in my Google search fucking thing in case anybody comes over later, which they won't, but just still, you know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to have to explain that to anybody. Like, what the fuck were you looking up? <laughs> I, I, hey, hey, man, I don't judge. Nipple Nision, somebody goes. Gage the Doom guy goes, it looks like people glued his nipples onto his torso while they were blindfolded. He looks like the kind of guy who has an acorn glued to the bottom of his torso. Fucker. It's, it builds character. Looking at that picture builds character very well, because at least in my fucking weird phase where my like fucking metabolism is slowing down in my 30s now, at least I can say, I don't look like that. Now, be real, if you have an abnormally shaped whatever, it does build character. Oh, yeah? How about the beer belly that you had to go make commentary on because you couldn't take a fucking joke? And if you're a good person, it'll become something people like about you. Oh, yeah? What, what, what do people like about you? The way that you callously judge them while putting yourself at a, 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 an absolute position of certitude and hubris and, like physical superiority to everybody else fuck off fuck off then they say billy the fridge spoke out against me um there's a number of people i can't talk about due to uh legal reasons and I oh legal reason my thing you can fucking ass and i'm not gonna fucking bring billy the fridge into this shit if you saw our spat on twitter you saw it whatever you know, he probably wants to be involved in this as much as any of this guy's exes at this fucking point. So who cares? I have arrangements with people like that to hopefully maintain friendships and not. Why? OK, you know what? Fuck it. I will. Why the fuck at this point would he want to be associated with you? Exactly. OK, he said what he said about you. Whatever you feel about it is whatever you feel about it. But with a fucking mess this big, if the guy doesn't want to fucking speak to you ever again, I'm not going to fucking blame him. Because at this point, he's got a fucking career to look out for. He's got a fucking reputation to look out for. And I, if he doesn't want to speak to you again, I don't fucking blame him. The fuck you think Seer wants anything to do with you for? He watched you be a shitbag to everybody in your life for years. You threw him to the curb over a comment about fucking drama, uh, drama regarding uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, I want to get my friendship back with you so that I can throw you under the fucking bus again. Fuck off. I go out and... Um destroy those friendships by talking about the other people i know oh like you did with everybody before this point like you did with everybody before this point you're fucking copy pasted ndas when you were in the public eye having people sign ndas is very important yeah especially if they're legally fucking binding which none of yours were especially your friends so you can forever be friends and reduce the chance of drama hey guys you want to be friends with me all you got to do click click is fucking sign on the dotted line and you can stay my friend forever so you don't have a chance to talk about any weird shit you see me doing yeah bullshit and by the way anybody that signed the fucking nda in that let me tell you the truth right now speak about whatever you want because they were not legally binding there's no chance he can actually sue you for talking about anything you saw or were said or were told during the duration of that NDA because they're fucking completely worthless. You might as well have signed your name on a piece of toilet paper. It was just as valuable as a fucking NDA, okay? It's totally bullshit. They had no legal binding. They had no legal basis. He copied and pasted the entirety of the fucking document from a fucking like website you can get legal documents from. What an idiot. You know? What an idiot. Bullshit. Like almost every... Fabian Lamas goes, what happened to Sky? Did he kill Sky? No, she's she's still around. She's active on Twitter. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Celebrity does that. So him Yeah, but you're not a celebrity. You're some fucking washed up YouTuber from 2008. Look at your ego. You think you're a celebrity. People in my town recognize me. Yeah, for being a crazy motherfucker. For being this eccentric fucking pedo pedo weirdo on the internet. They don't... F hey, look. There goes that fucking guy in that fucking banana video. No, they don't go like that. They go, hey, there's that fucking creepy, weird, greasy fuck. You know? <laughs> People start... Oh, God. 
makes sense. Unfortunately, Natalia goes, he had to stop paying alimony to Sky. Yeah, because he paid what he was owed, uh, owed to pay. I believe. Don't quote me on that 100%, but I believe he stopped paying because he paid what he had to pay, I believe. Uh, some people don't respect those agreements, and it's weird because... Because they're not legally fucking binding! You're going to sit here and threaten to sue people for damages over a document that was not notarized in a court of law by any fucking legal authority that was not binded in any way, shape, or form. It was a fucking phony piece of shit. What are you going to sue over? You're going to take them to court if you show up because when it was come down to your divorce proceedings, you didn't even show up for that shit. The judge is going to laugh in your goddamn face and go, what the fuck are you suing them for? It wasn't legally binding. It had no fucking notarization behind it at all. So who gives a shit if they don't go and fucking uh, agree to its terms or uh, go along with the NDA? It doesn't matter. You idiot. Oh, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you. I'm going to be the biggest Zuber of all time and file fucking frivolous goddamn lawsuits all over the... Actually, no, you'd be a boomer because they were doing that back in the 90s. So I'm going to be the biggest boomer of all time and file frivolous lawsuits out the ass. Fucking so sit there and burn through more of my fucking money and legal fees and shit. <laughs> Jesus. A fucking, a fucking small claims court's going to love that shit. Oh, Jesus. If they don't respect the legal agreements, you know, where they publicly acknowledge something was signed, how can you respect anything they say? How can you respect somebody so fucking stupid that you don't understand it wasn't a legal agreement because it wasn't legally binding or legally notarized? Idiot. You copied and pasted the entirety of those documents from a fucking legal papers website. Then you didn't even take them to the proper channels to get them notarized. They were phony. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Idiot. God. Something that they admit to having agreed to, which, you know, if you've ever seen Judge Judy, all you have to <laughs> No, you ever seen Judge Judy? Judge Judy is fucking kangaroo court. Stupid. I mean, a lot of the times when I watch that show, I wonder if that's just some bullshit they say at the beginning of the episode. The cases are real. The people are real. Because some of the cases on there are so litigious and libelous and stupid that I don't actually believe half the time that they're real litigations between other people. Have you ever watched Judge Judy? Motherfucker, you are getting reamed by the state of Washington right now and, and fucking different authorities for environmental protection because of what the fucking fuck you did to your yard. And you're going to sit there and have to deal with real legal shit like that. And you're going to compare this litigious nonsense to fucking Judge judy oh my god oh my god let's see what judge joe brown said well actually he was a preceding judge what actually is funny is a lot of these people on tv a lot of the bullshit tort stuff they do it's kind of funny to me because a lot of these people were actual presiding judges before they got on tv so you know let's go to the people's court with that mills brown guy i miss that the guy who used to be the referee on celebrity death match the little claymation show I missed that, the People's Court show. Because some of them were just hilarious. Some of them were hilarious. To do is admit it happened, and then it becomes... Uh, okay, he goes in the bottom. Even if you just admit to breaking a verbal agreement in court, things can go very bad for you. If it's a legal agreement, but it wasn't. It is important to understand the importance of being honest, which a lot of the internet does not seem to get. Ah, so is the fucking person who does this video that I'm responding to right now. The fuck it fuck is your trip on honesty. You're one of the biggest fucking dishonest pathological liars on the internet. Like, and speaking of courts and honesty and shit, when you had to go through your divorce proceedings, according to your ex-wife whom you were divorcing, you didn't show up to any of the fucking proceedings. Jesus. You deceptive fucking little shit. Like, have you ever heard of a verbal contract? If you admit to making you- Who cares about a fucking verbal contract? Those don't hold up in court. They hold up as well in court as a fucking insanity plea, you dumbass. <laughs>
been a verbal contract, you could be held accountable in court. Uh. <gasps> He's gonna sue me with all the money he doesn't have. Personally, I don't want to sue anyone, which is why I'm not actively suing anyone. It's also because you don't want to go to court and have to prove your side of the story to be right because you know you can't. You don't have the money to afford legal counsel, legal fees, or any sort of you know litigation fees that go along with that you're an idiot you threatened to sue me when i made the video about your stupid fucking cult religion you made a video that was along the lines of this saying oh when you make videos slandering people like that you risk being sued yeah well where was the fucking lawsuit that was in 2009 where the fuck was the lawsuit it didn't happen it never happened you threatened to sue repsy on where did that go <laughs> It didn't fucking go anywhere, dummy. You fucking shit brain. You don't understand how the legal system works. So that's why you're not under you're not actively suing anyone. You don't have the money for it. You got reamed by the IRS for claiming individual rooms of your house as business expenses, you stupid shit. <sighs> Jesus, they probably found all kinds of other weird things that you've done with your taxes over the years. And then you go out online and say, I didn't understand how taxes work. Bullshit, you've been paying them ever since you got out on your own, right? Fucking idiot. You thought you were going to get away with it. Oh, okay, and then it goes on to say, but it is nice to have agreements with people so they understand what you expect of your, uh, what you expect of your friendship ampersand that you want to hang out with a friend not a tabloid writer who in the fuck would want to be friends with some weirdo that has so little trust in their friendship they have them sign all kinds of contracts what are you satan sign this contract and then i have your soul forever you know jesus <laughs> You pull out like a piece of paper from like some lava pit and it's like on fire and shit. Sign on the dotted line. Sign on... <laughs> you know, Jesus. <laughs> uh, it says Edwin is talking about my ex spouse and plans to make a video about Kai. Yeah. Good. I hope so. That's a shame that so many people are going after Kai, and it kind of shows, you know, certain people never cared about Kai. To Why would anyone care about somebody that, in my opinion, is hiding behind a transgender status to shy away from bigger accusations of being an aphibophile and a predator? Why would anybody give a fuck to respect somebody like that? Oh, you went very nice to her. No, when they figured out that they were no different than you, why the fuck would they care? Throw them under the fucking steamroller too. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. They're a groomer just like you, and I don't fucking have any sympathy for them. Fuck them. Everybody got on my ass because of the things that I said in that fucking live stream you did on you now. And guess what? Now people are starting to come around. To, there are a lot of people in the trans community that feel that same fucking way. Bunch of assholes tried to throw me under the bus about it. And guess what? It backfired because a lot of people in the community they were trying to throw me under the bus of shared my fucking opinion. Except for some fucking rabid SJW fucking communist furry that they got. <laughs> They'll shit on anybody regardless of who they are. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to sympathize with somebody that's like, I'm crying, Twitter. I'm fidget spinning and I'm fucking crying. Guy is crying and eating crayons. Fuck you. I'm not going to sympathize with them. Fuck them. You knew what the fuck you were doing. They knew what the fuck they were doing. They were working actively with you to predate on Sarah. And I'm supposed to sit there and fucking sympathize with them. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You do such a malicious and horrible thing to such an awesome person. Like oh yeah, such an awesome person that conveniently never fucking has a goddamn word to say in their own defense every single fucking time something like this fucking happens. It's always watch my face melt, make eyebrows in two different area codes coming up on the camera to say what really happened in their behalf. If they're really to be trusted, if they're really to believe, be believed, have them sit in front of a fucking camera and say their side of the story. Let them do it themselves. Surprisingly, ever since you guys got together, whenever some shit's gone down that involves them, that's never happened. 
Boy, I fucking wonder why. Boy, I fucking wonder why. Is it because you know they're completely incapable of fucking manipulating people the way that you are and would completely incinerate any narrative that you're trying to spin? Bullshit. Now, where's my $350,000? Where's my fucking $350,000? I deserve $350,000 right now for putting up with this shit. I'm two minutes in to this video. I am two fucking minutes into this fucking video right now. Let me stop pointing at you with a pen like I'm going to accidentally stab you all with a pen. Holy fucking shit. 200, 250000 Fuck it. $650,000 I deserve for putting up with this. You deserve all my life sailing, sa sailings, all your life sailings. I deserve your yachts, all your life savings. Natalia goes, Natalia. I like that name, Natalia. Send in Natalia. Isn't that the isn't that the name of the Russian like uh, military advisor, the bl blonde girl that they have over there, <laughs> Natalia? There's a problem in the Balkans. Send in Natalia. All right. Enough of that. That's why Kai's kind of done with y'all. Y'all are insane. Absolutely insane. Oh no, ladies crying! I don't give a fuck. If you have anything to say for your greasy, pimple pocked fucking self to hopefully save your own ass, get the fuck in front of a camera and say it. Otherwise, stop letting your dumb fuck husband fucking maliciously try to manipulate a narrative that I'm supposed to buy. If you have anything at all that's worth fucking listening to, say it. Otherwise, shut the fuck up. To, like, pretend someone is, like, your BFF for years, and then to totally just do the worst things to them. Yeah, to pretend that someone's your best friend all those years and say, you know, we really care about you. We really value you, okay? We're going to do everything we can to get you out of this bad situation you're in. We understand. We really care. you got a safe home here, you know? You really do. We really look out for you. And then to turn around and then fucking use them like a fucking toy you pulled off the shelf just to fucking take their virginity and throw them under the fucking bus when it's convenient yeah that's some pretty horrible shit to do to somebody that's some fucking terrible shit to do to somebody you stupid fuck you're gonna sit there and victimize yourself sitting there sending fucking messages back and forth to your fucking goddamn spouse saying stupid shit like you know having fights about who's gonna do it first and this is your response and this is part one mind you part motherfucking one this is the first part He's got more to come. Jesus. Holy shit. Yeah, it just fucking exposed me for being a fucking predator that just wanted to use my my fame and the size of my platform to get as much underage poon as I can. It's real shitty. You know, it's real shitty. You could go out there and betray someone's trust they put in you to allow them to be a predator. You know? And sit there and... Sit there and manipulate you since you were 14 years old. 14, motherfucker, two years before you met her, she was 12. Oh my God. Jesus fucking Christ. If you had done this shit to my, I'm not going to go there, but I'll say I'd be in prison now. I wouldn't give a fuck. They tend not to fuck with people who do shit like that in jail. They tend not to. <laughs> A lot of guys behind bars are dads too, so it's like, you know. <laughs> oh, you killed a motherfucker under those pretenses? Well, to be honest, okay. Whereas this guy goes to jail, he's fucked. He is fucked. Because what happens when guys like this go to prison... A lot of the times, like when you're first intaken into prison, a lot of the other inmates, they'll look at your charge sheet. So you go in there, you got your warrants, you got whatever, you got a few pieces of paper. The papers are your charge sheets, you know, what you were sentenced with and all that. And they'll ask to look at those. And when they look at those, they'll see, if in his case, that he's got charges with teenagers, kids, essentially. You already know where the fuck it's going from that point. You already know. He's done. 
you wouldn't last the first 10 hours behind bars. It, I, I'm going to quote something from the Punisher here that one bad guy basically says, we have friends in jail who in ways I can only describe is deeply pornographic would kill you. <laughs> is deeply porn. Yeah. Yeah, that or they just straight up beat his head in. You, you sabotage a young girl's fucking trust since she was 14 years old. And you're doing it to other women on the side too. The whole fucking time. And you're going to say, oh, because they came forward with it. They fucked you and your spouse over. Fuck off. I can't trust anybody anymore because, you know, everyone just seems like another person who's going to say, oh, I would never try to hurt you. I would never try to uh, ruin your life. Why the fuck do we care if your lives are ruined? Look what the fuck you did to other people. Why the hell do we care about how the fuck you feel? Oh no, this is going to ruin our lives. We're going to lose our home. We're going to lose all our monies. We're going to go in fucking jail. We can't play Xbox on fucking Discord anymore. We're not going to be able to play League of Legends. I want to play League of Legends. I want to go hang out and fuck young girls in my Discord. You guys are ruining it for me. You guys weren't supposed to come forward and talk about how I fucking used you? Ah! Uh, Tabby! <laughs> He's gonna roll scream for his mom. Tabby! Mommy! Why won't you help me? I gave you a fucking house! <laughs> <laughs> Put a spell on me! Make it out go away! You remind me of Mr. Toomey from the Langoliers. I don't know if anybody's watched that shit, but if you have, look it up, Langoliers. It's a Stephen King movie. And there's a character in there called Mr. Toomey, who's like Onion, basically. He was like you know, tortured by a crazy father, so he became this eccentric crazy person himself, you know? So he acts like Onion because he's just this narcissistic fucking motherfucker who just he behaves the way Onion does. It's fucking funny. Like the movie itself is interesting for like one of a Stephen King fucking mini series, but yeah, there's a character in there that reminds me so much of Onion. You know. <laughs> Especially near the end. I've never tried. Like we hear this all the time. It's uh -oh. like I said, the things that people Uh-oh, my audio's fucking up, guys. How's my audio coming through to you guys? Is it coming in all weird? Because my audio's fucking up a little bit. I need to... I may need to reboot my uh, sound driver. Okay. It, it doesn't sound like there's like a bit crush kind of distortion on it. Okay. All right. Well, I guess it's just on my end then. Because, like, for a second, it sounds like... <laughs> so... Well, said about Kai were true, then he would be in jail. It's it's so easy. Just Well, oh, you know, that's because investigations take a fucking while to get going. Countless officials, government employees have investigated our lives, and every case has been closed, deeming us what we are, innocent. Yeah, well, I also have a theory that you might have a relative that works within those type of infrastructures as well that's fucking doing it for you. So I don't know. It just matters. It's, it's, to me, it's a matter of where do the documents go? Who gets them on whose desk? You know? Because I've been in contact with people that work in government. I've been in contact with people that work in law enforcement. There's a little tidbit of information for you. People that deal with shit like human trafficking. Because guess what? What you did with your Canadian ex files under that. It was violation of the Mann Act. And they were blown the fuck away at just the description at what the fuck you did to the point that they immediately started recording a report when I went to them about it. Hell, there were a couple of times I went, it was just an anonymous tip. I wound up getting a knock on my door and actually talked to by a couple of people in a very particular alphabet soup organization, three-letter organization. You know, you put them together, I think it spells the word FIB. No, I think it spells FBI. So go fuck yourself. Countless officials and government employees, my ass. 
You're just trying to save your ass. The internet does not care about reality. Bullshit. The internet cares about reality, which is why you're getting a fucking firestorm under your ass right now. Walk into the police station, you have, you know, something that's open and closed, obvious, right? Allegedly. So, and I feel like, you know, Kai's been proven innocent, yet nobody cares. You don't know how these investigations work at all, and I think that's fucking hilarious. And the proof of innocence is the fact that you have someone who opened and closed said a horrible crime occurred and said that they actually went to court, their friend said they went to court, and yet Kai remains a free person. Yeah, and you as well, because these things take time. They don't just open and shut, ah, they got him! It's not how it works. Ah. Their friends literally said they went to a courthouse, yet clearly the court did not even want to bother with petty internet drama at most, like, re most respectable institutions. Then, then why was it that people have actually taken hard evidence that I have, okay? Things that you've done in videos, things that you've said, and they've actually taken that into an evidence pool, okay? I'm not going to say anything fucking further than that. So shut the fuck up, you fucking cunt. Most respectable institutions. Jesus Christ, I got a lot of family that does this fucking work. I know how this shit works better than you do, you lying sack of shit. Jesus Christ. You think I did this shit for 10 years just for my fucking health? After they actually went to court. And what's kind of frustrating is that, like, literally Kai is the center of this controversy. No, they're not! You're just sloughing the blame off on your spouse now, you coward. You are! Because you're the one that got in a relationship with them, and then you convinced them that it would be cool. And to be honest, I think maybe the only reason your relationship stays as stable as it fucking does is because the both of you are predators. And you know that. That's why you won't divorce each other. Because you don't know who's going to rat on who first. So that air of mistrust and not being able to even trust one another is what keeps you together out of fear. Nice. Remember that chick who said she was going to go to court over copyright and used your money to go to a concert instead? Well, as much as I do feel that was a fucking shitty thing to do, and it was, it was a fucking shitty thing to do, it didn't change the fact that you filed false DMCA complaints against them fucking endlessly. Nice way to pass the buck, motherfuck. And yet my name is brought up more than anyone because my name gets people attention. Oh yeah, that's why. It's all because it gets people attention. It's not because I'm actually the one that fucking sits there at the center of all this shit and it revolves completely around. No, it's because they want attention and they want money. That's why I've made $22 in chat revenue this entire fucking time. I'm rolling in the cash. Jesus Christ. I'm like a young Alan Greenspan. Fuck off. They found Onion in the Area 51 raid. Pfft. <laughs> Probably some more of his fucking kids. Like, this is the hugest clout-seeking campaign I've ever seen in my life. Like, if I... Yeah, like all the times you threw people under the bus when it was fucking convenient for you to do so. Yeah, that's just you seeking clout with your drooping eyebrows and shit. Get the fuck out of here. People are not doing this for attention. They're not doing it to seek recompensation and money and fucking remuneration. They're doing it because you've done things that have severely hurt these fucking people. They deserve their voices to be heard. They're not seeking shit from you. What are they going to get from some broke, dumb fuck who lives in some fucking backwards trailer-looking fucking house with garbage all over the fucking yard? What are they going to get from you? You fucking idiot. Yeah, we're, we're going to go get money from a guy who's fucking broke because he doesn't know how to fucking manage his money. Some idiot who's playing 4D chess with the IRS, who's setting up weird businesses like Nisa Muto and shit on the side that don't sell any goods or provide any services that he pumps money into for a while and then lets their business license expire. What the hell is that shit about? Look that shit up. It's interesting. Nisa Muto. Look it up in the Washington Business Register. What the fuck was that? What was that? I wonder how many other weird little businesses on the side you created and then just dissolved out of nowhere to go fuck around with taxes, probably. What was that shit? But I'm not doing anything wrong. Bullshit. You scummy fucking fraudulent ass. I was, you know, making video after video or if I was making tweet after tweet about any specific ex, you guys would be calling me a psychopath. You did! 
When you divorced your ex-wife, you made a fucking video to go narcissistically promote her channel knowing that your entire fan base was going to go to that fucking channel and talk shit about her. You fucking liar. You fucking liar. You would be saying I was a stalker. You would see... It would be... Oh. Uh, people are already saying those things. People are already saying those things in kind. Okay, this is bugging me. Um, I'm going to try something really quickly here. Actually, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to try something really quickly here. And if it fucks up and I don't get my sound back, um, I apologize. So uh, let me try something really quickly here. Okay. One, two, three. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Come on. Turn back on. All right. We're going to have OBS up here. <clears throat> All right, where's OBS? Come on, I need OBS. Ah, fuck! It crashed, didn't it? OBS crashed. I can't even... It crashed, didn't it? I should have just dealt with it. Can you guys hear me? Am I still online though? Yeah, you hear me? Okay, good. Fuck yeah. Okay, so what ended up happening was I had to reboot my sound driver. Okay? So it basically said OBS crashed because it... it uh... Okay, so basically it said OBS crashed because I had to rebump the sound driver and it didn't know what to do. So we're going to do an audio test. Can you still hear him? Oh, it won't even play. Because it doesn't know what to do. Right? Let's see. Damn. All right, so I'm going to have to refresh this. Sound drivers and all that fun shit. Uh, well, basically, it's in a pre-crash state in the background. So the, the video looks bad. Yeah. Yeah, because it's about ready to die. I'm going to have to rebump the stream so give me a second guys all right so let me stop streaming reboot and then i'll be right back in one second all right let's see all right now ah, don't leave all right let's go come on let's go is it going is it going come on let's go let's go let's go oh, god i hate this fucking software can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? I don't even know if it's doing anything. Oh, Jesus. Can you guys hear me? Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. It's so fucking lagged now. Yeah, I had to basically rebump my audio driver. Okay, so we were about like three minutes and 30 in. Three minutes. Let's go back here. Let's see if this even plays. Okay. There we go. All right, bump this back up. Yeah, no, like basically what ended up happening is that sometimes because I use, um, I have a huge rack of guitar peripherals and stuff over on the side here. And because of that, I use them basically for like my sound cards, my sound drivers. So sometimes a glitch happens. So what I did is I turned it off and turned it back on again to just refresh the driver. And because OBS was running when I did it, it just took a shit because it didn't know what to do. It didn't know what to do. How's the video? Is the video looking good? Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go back. All right, here we go. Do you also notice how his voice changes, too, depending on what he's fucking responding to? I, I, I gotta assert my manliness, so I'm gonna talk like this, because this is how, like, tough real men talk, right? Or, hey, guys, my, my feelings are really hurt, you know? You gotta be sensitive to this. Or, I just get wild because I have my feelings hurt! It's like, which one of those do you think is the real onion? 
you know which which is the real onion the, the tough guy onion or the soft sensitive onion or this big whitey fucking baby Oh, Onion has no audio? Okay, well, let's see. Let's fix that really quick. Um, all right. Uh, okay, so let's see. Where is this? I need to get OBS back up. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Look at this fucking music. You can't hear it yet, but you'll see it in a second. Mike Hawks. Let's try this one. Properties. What in the fuck? Okay, what fucking input do you... Okay, now you get to see me spurg out about this goddamn audio shit. Okay, what fucking input do you want to use now, Windows? Let's see, media source, desktop, audio... I don't know why the hell it wasn't allowed to use that there. Okay, fine. Let's see. Fucking mic auxiliary properties, stereo mix. Let's try this. Let's go back a second. Uh this is lovely. I love when technology is just so inefficient and fucking shitty it does this fucking shit. You know? Like, we spend billions of dollars making this shit, and it just doesn't fucking work. You know? Microphone, Samson, fucking go, Mike. Okay, that's what I'm on. So it should be using the stereo mix in order to hear the fucking audio, but it doesn't hear anything. Is that the fucking driver that took a shit? Perhaps it is. Oh, this is great. I need to get a program that just blasts audio through any input, you know? Then I can actually get to take a look at, like, what the fuck is fucking up and what the hell isn't. I, I don't know if such a program exists, but it would help me with music creation. All right, now that I changed the driver, let's see. Desktop audio, move. Okay, so why the fuck is it not in the list? Okay, does, do I actually need to crash and restart the fuck? No, because I already did. Um, background? Let's try that. No, because it was under that. Okay, let me see something really quick. Um, get off my fucking screen. This is lovely because I'm losing fucking everybody right now, I bet. And now my computer's having a fucking goddamn heart attack because it, like, knows what I'm trying to do and it won't let me do it. Because if you think for a second that software companies and hardware companies don't program algorithms into their programs that look at what you're doing so that they can have stupid shit like this fucking happen, you're out of your mind because they totally do. And I'm looking at you, Microsoft. Looking at you, Microsoft. That's one of the reasons why my drivers take a shit like this occasionally, because they're actually programmed to do that. Just like your CPUs are actually programmed to die after about six or seven months. I will. I will. I just, this is bullshit. Doesn't matter what company you go to. This is the same engineers and programmers all over the fucking place. They design this shit. They make it work. They fuck it up. Now it won't even boot the sound control panel after I click on the icon. Let's just click it a hundred times and tell Windows, go fuck yourself, get it open. Oh, this is fucking lovely. There you go. You get 118 fucking function calls to open the damn thing. Okay, recording. Okay, that's why, because it's defaulting to that. Stereo mix. Set default. Now, let's see. So that should force it because it's defaulting to an input that I use for guitar. So let's see. Desktop audio properties. It's not going to do it. Fuck you. Let's see. Uh, fuck yourself. I don't want your stupid menu. 
let's see. Uh, there you go, Mike Ox. Fuck off. Stereo mix. Watch it just have a shit at. Oh my god. Why? Why? Do I need to restart the fucking whole thing? Okay, let's restart the whole fucking Firefox. You fucking dipshit. How, how lovely. How fucking lovely. Okay. So let's re re restart the entire... Oh, now that I close that, it's going to have more issues. Nice. Oh, this is lovely. This is actually a great... This is actually a good part of the stream right now. Because it goes to show a lot of people how great these software companies and hardware companies are with your broken fucking shit. You know, Jesus Christ, get it together. You know? I'm pro Hong Kong for this fucking reason. Maybe they'll make better tech than fucking China will. Because at least it won't be fucking horrible like this. Like I'm driving a fucking 1996 fucking Honda Accord down the road. Wondering why it's sputtering and fucking shitting all over the place. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. It's not even like wanting to load it because it's like it like it knows what I want to do. Yeah, I'm not going to let you do that. You want to have audio come through that. And if I do let you have audio, I'm going to sputter and fucking make it all sound distorted and horrible because you're not supposed to do that. That's why I was working five seconds ago, and now I randomly don't fucking work. Even though I technically should be working, because there's absolutely nothing wrong with your input through your outputs. If you want it fixed, give me this amount of money. It's like the player doesn't even know where to send the fucking audio stream to. Come on. Like, the minute it has to actually send audio anywhere, it doesn't even know what the fuck to do with it. Oh, lovely. Ah, oh, this is fucking... This is killing me. Okay. Fuck out of my way, wire. Ugh. Okay, fuck you. Where's OBS? Stereo mix my aching ass. Okay, let's go to line three, four. It's not even doing shit. It's it's not just going anywhere. Okay, so this is actually puzzling me now because I don't know where the fuck it's going. Because it's not dis it's not sending the audio anywhere. Real t All right. Well, what the fuck are you using? What in the shit? Okay, why the fuck was it doing anything before? Now it's not doing anything now. Speakers this is four. Good. It's just it okay. Character. So why that? Okay, now we got it fixed, and now I'm confused because that technically should not be Let me working. Say, Billy the why the hell is that working? Against me. Um, there's a why is that doing anything? That's not an input. To, uh, Whatever. Reasons. Who gives a fuck? And I have arrangements with people like that to hopefully maintain friendships. You guys can see me and hear me and, all right. Um, destroy those friendships by talking about the other people. I notice like almost every celebrity does that. So it makes sense. Unfortunately, uh, All some right, let's get back on track here because that was a fucking goddamn mind. It's weird job. because if they don't respect the legal agreements, you know, where they publicly acknowledge something was signed, how can you respect anything okay, they say? Something that they admit to Pause. having agreed. God, I can feel my fucking CPU burning up because it's trying to do anything here. That, that doesn't make sense, though. On a technical level, that doesn't make sense. It should not be working. Okay, so how fucking far behind the stream am I? All right. God, that was a pain in the ass. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm back at Free Hong Kong. Jesus Christ, I'm that far behind. Jesus fucking Christ, what a lag.
Holy shit, it is so lagged. Oh my god. Oh. You know what's crazy too is if you want to know what kind of machine I'm running, it's not a potato. What I'm running is a fucking boosted 9600K uh, Skylake. I've got like 32 gigs of RAM in this fucking thing. This thing should be like... Boosh. This is how bad this fucking web... Oh, Jesus Christ. I need, to, I need to figure out how I can fix this shit. Anyway, let's fuck it. Let's go. Here we go. It would be over. Like one person... Real tech audio is auto-installed on just about everything, though. So I don't know if there's something else I can use to get around that shit. I don't know if there's something I can do to uninstall that shit and get around it. If there is, let me know, because it's fucking horrible. ...was dumped for lying and... Okay, let's go back to where the fuck we were now. ...about... ...is the hugest clout seeking campaign i've ever seen in my life like if i was yeah besides you your know, entire fucking youtube career video or if i was making tweet after tweet about any specific x you guys would be calling me a psychopath you would be saying i was a stalker you would see it would be over like one person was dumped for a lot whoopee lying and doing illegal drugs yeah so what i've done illegal drugs when i was younger Look at what a horrible person I am. Lisa. Who's this? Oh, somebody that messaged them. So what is this supposed to prove, you know? Is this supposed to prove that you have all these fucking weird people motherfucking just messaging you all the time? All the stuff that your exes do and it's supposed to make you look better? It just makes you look like a weird fucking stalkery piece of shit with a bunch of stalkery dumb fans. Okay, so you send a couple of fucking pictures and shit. Another person was, Whoopee. was broken up with for literally taking money from me to survive in Canada while actively sleeping with another person that I didn't know about. You didn't even know about that until like two fucking weeks ago. Now you're going to pretend you knew about that now? You stupid fuck. You sent the money to get them out of your damn house so you didn't have to deal with them anymore, you fucking liar. Oh, Jesus. And they got pregnant with that person's baby. Flutterfin goes, Greg, they're making, they're just clout seekers. Also, Greg makes 73 videos on Eugenia. Yeah, kind of neat. You know, how that works. They're just seeking clout, guys. By the way, let me make about 120 trillion videos on this fucking anorexic chick. Jesus. And the, and the music in the background. Jeez, what am I watching? The fucking Avengers? Okay, so I was like funding their livelihood and they were actively. Like that. You deserve to fund their livelihood after you move them to a country they have very little resources in, fuck their life up for no other reason than to do it, and then just tell them to get the fuck out when you're done with them, and then callously film them having a mental breakdown, crying and saying you destroyed their fucking life. Yeah, I think that you owe them something after that, smug fuck. Oh, Jesus. I guess that little interruption with the fucking drivers and shit, my computer being fucking goddamn terrible, was just enough to bump up my anger back again. It was a, it was a, huh, it was like a rage buff. It's <laughs> another reason I dumped somebody. I dumped somebody. Now you're just somebody that I used to dump. I'm gonna last so long in prison with a voice like this. <sighs> <laughs> ah, listen to this fucking music <laughs> listen to this sad fucking violin music I don't even want to read any of this fucking shit but I will alright Onyx whatever the fuck it doesn't even matter if you censor it or not because if they wrong you you'll just dox them anyway because that's your MO uh, hey, I have the means to pay you back your money. Please tell me how I'm able to send it to you. I'll be sending a total of four grand that covers pregnancy costs, flight here, and money you sent me. I know you're financially in a tight place. Bullshit. Because you had a lot of fucking cash back then, and all you were doing was whining about how little you had. You lying fucking fraud. Uh, so please let me send you this money. Okay, send a check to my address. How nice and cold with nothing to say. I'm sorry for how I treated you. None of that fucking shit because emotions for weak people, right, Onion?
And then he goes, this is one of many examples. She still to this day owes me the money she agreed to pay me back for having me pay her living expenses while she got che uh, cheated on me, got pregnant. You know what's fucking hilarious is when uh, they had a miscarriage and shit like that happened. You know what's funny? You did a live stream similar to this where you were shitting all over their character and you didn't believe that what they had claim to have happened actually happened even though it really did and i had to be the person that went in there without a sock account everything under my actual screen name and i told you about that shit two seconds after i told you it, you ended the fucking stream you're so gung-ho to just go fucking shit on somebody if you knew you could come out on top and when you find out that shit's real what do you do eat shit and end your stream fucking asshole listen to this fucking music Listen to this fucking royalty-free music he put in there that he bought and probably resells on his website claiming to be his. What I think is funny is a lot of the tracks he's, sending, he's uh, selling now, the royalty-free songs that he's putting his voice over. He's so fucking lazy. He's not, even buy, he's not even making them. He's buying other people's shit to, like, drone over. Hey, guys, I bought an Elisa's Nitro for $499 with your Patreon money, and I'm using it in my music even though I don't know how to play drums. <laughs> Fucking idiot. You know? She goes, uh, he goes, whoever goes. Can it wait a little while? It might take a week or two. I don't have checks. I have to order some. I've somehow forgotten our address. Could you please send me it for conversation? Thank you. In case, just use Western Union. Lovely. Do it tomorrow. Yada, yada. Conveniently skip over that. Let's see. They're basically just delaying. They're stalling. Who cares? Like, what? Look at this fight. This music should be over footage of the Chernobyl disaster. Why the fuck are, fuck are you putting it over an email exchange? I'm not manipulated by this. It's just so melodramatic. Holy shit. Oh my god. You lied again. The number was fake. Thank you, Tina. Love and support. Um, DKK one hundred dollar. Uh, what? It, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what currency that's in. I don't know what DKK is. If anybody in the chat can uh, in, in, educate me as to what that currency is, because I don't know. I think Danish. I I don't know. I'm sorry for not knowing what currency DKK is. <laughs> I like traveling. Danish Krone. Okay, cool. Very nice. Thank you, Steve from Latvia. Latvia. Steve from Latvia. Latvia. How are you representing? <laughs> Somebody goes Donkey Kong coins. No. No. It's a Danish Krone, according to Steve from Latvia. Nope. They confirmed it was fake. Who's they? You may want to follow it up. Who's they? Blocking. Let me, let me read it with the music. <clears throat> Blocking you again, you lying, There's a legal cheating, agreement. disgusting scum. With uh, someone that I can't talk about why I dumped them. That's why I haven't talked about a lot of things. It's because I... Uh, why? Because there's litigation on their end that means you can't talk about it? Actually respect legal agreements in that regard. So... Uh, yeah, because you're going to get reamed by a court if you say anything. Yeah, nice. Oh, I can't talk about that other reason, but I also, you know, there's other reasons. And that's what's interesting is... Well, what are they? You, you know, you're Mr. Honesty. Facts, machine! Come on, facts! Re! You know, where are the facts? You're going to sit here and fucking talk about this shit, and then you can't talk about it. What is it, like secrets kept at Area 51 and shit? Are you under a TSSI fucking security clearance? Top secret secured information? <laughs> Imagine when Greg finally hits his fucking boomer years. He goes like a lot of fucking people do and claim he was like a Navy SEAL and shit. <laughs> you imagine like Don Shipley of all people making a video on him. Guy looks like a werewolf. He's an old Navy SEAL himself and he makes videos exposing people that make fake claims about being Navy SEALs. You know? Because <laughs> he makes all kinds of some fucking weird shit up about his military years. You know? About being in survival and evasion training. Capture and evasion training. Ugh. Natalia goes, Onision Old, Jaeger Ultima. That's such a cool fucking name, by the way. Jaeger Ultima. 
I want to make a synth wave track with a name like that. You know. My friend back in home state's father has double eagle security clearance. Oh, I don't know what that is, but that sounds amazing. Thrash Metal Guru, everyone here is awesome. Thank you. And yeah, you're awesome too. You know who you are. Nobody respects... Jägermeister me. Ultimatum. That would be a sick fucking name for a power metal band. Or, you know, sees the fact that I actually obey the law like you gotta obey yeah, the you obey the law about as well as jed bundy obeyed the law you obey the law just about as any other fucking middle-aged fucking scammer playing 40 chess with the irs who wants a harem of fucking underage girls that he keeps on his person at all fucking times get the fuck out of here i obey the law that's why i've been to court fucking endless times for traffic violations Look him up in his local area. He's been to traffic court for all kinds of things like parking violations, speeding, fucking weird, like nondescript traffic violations. He's even got a couple of them fucking taken off his record. He's got a couple of things in his record in Washington state that have been sealed. They were re redacted from records. They were sealed. So, yeah. So you respect the law and you obey the law and you've got a record. I mean, I got a record. I don't give a fuck. I got a record over something I didn't even fucking do. I made a video about it. I owned up to it. Here he is saying, I obey the law. I have never broken the law. I've never been in trouble with it. Even if you got a traffic violation, technically it's because you broke traffic law. Now, it's not like you fucking murdered anybody, but still, you know, how was county jail food? Sucked. <laughs> Uh, moldy stale sandwiches and fucking like it, it, it's like whatever the fuck you got for lunch in high school when you were in like primary and middle school well i, I guess i really wouldn't know what that's like because i went to you know private school so we, uh, yes we actually got real stuff but i've heard that it can be real sh uh, shitty mine the corner two british pounds neat Please stay hydrated throughout this stream. Drink water. I will stay hydrated. In fact, in a moment, I will go get myself a drink after I read this. Federal drug penalties. I did cocaine. Use it against me. Oh, schedule two drug cocaine. I did. Fu okay. I don't care. I'm not proud of this. I'm not saying that I'm proud of this. In fact, it took a long time for me to even kick this. I did heroin when I was young. I was stupid. I was messing around with pills to deal with chronic back pain. And that's how a lot of people end up, unfortunately, getting hooked in it. I'm not proud to admit that at all. It fucked up a good portion of my life. Use it against me. Am I a criminal? Am I criminal scum? Because I fell victim to the trappings of an epidemic problem in this country. I kicked the habit myself. It took a long time. It took me years to get the fuck over it. But guess what, motherfucker? Doesn't make me a terrible fucking person. The, the, the kind of person it makes you to take something that a person did and use it against them. Is, is unbelievable. You're like this worthless scum fuck I retweeted on my Twitter who's taken Jordan Peterson to task because he got a clonopin addiction over the grief of his wife having cancer. It's been rough to deal with all the shit he's got to deal with on top of having to deal with his wife with cancer. Jesus Christ, this asshole sitting there mocking and making fun of a person in one of the most trying, difficult times in their life because he's in pain and he's suffering emotionally. Somebody tries cocaine at a party. Whoopee. They're young. They're, you know, people are young and stupid. I'm old and stupid. Here you are saying, I don't do drugs, even though I look fucked up and high in each one of my videos. And I swear there were videos you did back in the day were from my own experiences that you were acting like you were under the influence of some of the shit I was doing back in the day. So get out, get out, get over your fucking self. Get <laughs> you. Yeah. Uh, T-Bone Howard goes, bro, do you watch the Joe Rogan podcast? Yeah. Do you ever done DMT? <laughs> and for the record, yes. I, yes. <laughs> have, you, have you ever done DMT? Joe, have you ever done DMT, Rogan? Okay, this is getting kind of hot. All right. You know. <clears throat> Just call me Paul goes glad you're okay now. Yeah, well, trust me, it's... Uh, apparently, the proclivity for addiction or the disposition for it is something that you're born with, and it's either you're in circumstance that awakes that or not. So that, that's where a lot of the, the, the research is leaning to now. You more or less are born with that 
predisposition being led to it is really the uh the kicker as to whether or not you end up with it you know most people can go throughout their entire lives without ever being in circumstances where that's even a thing that they have to worry about other people yeah it's kind of a roller coaster some people's bodies have been temples mine's been an amusement park so of people who you know take part in doing illegal drugs committing crimes in general uh like fraud and they do all yeah like you all these things and yet they wind up being oh oh you sold a prescription before oh no oh no i held on to a bottle of antibiotics past the uh recommended uh, the prescription date use it against me i'm such a criminal i'm gonna go to jail guys oh no this was like fucking 10 years ago but still committing crimes in general uh like fraud and they do all these yeah you know, like claiming their fucking rooms houses their houses rooms as business expenses things and yet they wind up being the heroes which is a mind-boggling thing to me and then another headline said what makes you such a fucking savior in your own mind what you know what answer this question once and for all where in the fuck does your moral compass come from where does this bullshit sense of morality come from because it makes no fucking sense to me it makes no fucking sense to me why do you need to put yourself out there as this moral authority over all these other fucking people and you are arguably a worse person than anything you try to describe somebody else as you know i don't do drugs i don't drink okay i'm a good christian boy that doesn't fucking do anything i'm moral oral that's what I am. If anybody remembers that Cartoon Network little cartoon, Moral Oral, it was a rip on uh, Davy and Goliath and shit. Yeah, that's what you want people to think you are. And yet in the same breath, you know what's fucking hilarious? What's fucking hilarious? In your books, you write yourself as this fucking big edgelord, fucking potential school shooter and shit, fucking idiot. God, it's so fucking stupid. You're like a fucking Sam Hyde character in real life, but without actually being funny. God. T-Bone Howard goes, Adult Swim sucks now. Yeah, it does. It does. It fucking sucks. It was funny, Dang, but... My ex-sister-in-law maintains that I still have these pics. I don't... I don't have those. I don't believe you. I bet you fucking rip your foreskin back and forth like a fucking jackhammer is looking at them all the time, as gross as that is to think. I don't think that you're the kind of person that can get rid of their fucking porn collection of their exes under any circumstances, because not only does having them give you a sense of power and a feeling of power, you just like jerking off to that idea, which is abusive in and of itself. So fuck off. I don't believe it. They were leaking for a while when all this broke. Who would do that? Who would use somebody's fucking body autonomy against them like that? Who else would throw somebody under the bus because of their perceived being like a whore because they did fucking suicide girls? You know, the kind of person with a sinking brow married to someone they probably haven't found attractive in fucking years. Yeah, shut up. You did that shit. I don't have those nude pics that just conveniently leaked when all this broke. Yeah, bullshit. He probably, he probably has, like, a, a thumb drive somewhere, you know? It's his, like, fucking uh, bug-out thumb drive that... Oh, shit! I need to save my image by doing things that are unilaterally hated by people. I don't know where you got that idea, but literally, if you just Google suicide girl or everybody has it if you pose oh go let me go google it to take the fucking goddamn blame off my shoulders oh and why would you remember the name why after all these years if you don't even know who the fuck this person is at the beginning of the stream and now conveniently you fucking remember and then you sit there and you remember their fucking name you're such a shitty liar you are such a fucking goddamn liar you are such a fucking goddamn fucking liar like if someone pays you to pose for photos as an adult and you release those photos the why don't you pose nude for something so we can all mock how small your baby carrot is your internet's gonna have them okay so you need to stop being like oh so do you understand how many fucking goddamn people have done fucking suicide girl photo shoots 
you have any idea how many hope like potentials i think they were called suicide girl hopefuls people that don't get like the full thing on the site that they do all the time you're gonna talk about something like that let's fucking talk about something that i know a lot about because i've known a lot of people who work technically in in porn and technically in you know alternative artistic nude stuff for years the amount of people that they get per year is insane the amount of people they get per month is insane. For one person to do a one-off shoot and then you to make this bullshit statement where it's just, well, you know, everybody on the internet, if you did it once, you know, everybody's fucking got it. Bull fucking shit. Especially one person in particular when there are people on there. Oh, I forgot her name. She has uh, blue-dyed hair. Uh, she's a Spanish model. Uh, Rie? 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 R-I-A-E, I think is her name. Uh, yeah, somebody that routinely gets like 32,000 fucking likes on just her Instagram pics alone. That's one of their ambassadors for Suicide Girls branding and shit. They have like hundreds of thousands of people fucking following them at any given time on just their Instagram and their Twitter alone. And you're going to sit there and say, oh, everybody in the internet got pictures of them. So they have somebody else that was like, you know, relatively unknown, kind of obscure. Yeah, bull fucking shit. Bull fucking shit. And to be honest, it, you know what? If they're bold enough and they're proud of themselves enough to the point that they have no problem getting naked in front of a fucking camera, who the fuck are you to put them down for their body? You stupid fuck. You're sitting up there with your fucking face melting off in every goddamn picture. Again, judging them just because they did a nude photo shoot. Do you not even see the psychology you're employing here? You're fucking upset that they did something like that. You know? Especially when you had an attraction to them. Hey, hey, everybody else got to see their body. Why didn't I get to see their body? Why, why couldn't it just been me? That, I thought I was special to you when I was married to your sister because you couldn't get with me or you didn't want to get with me. Motherfucker, please. Motherfucker, please. Motherfucker, please. So, uh, Natalia goes, Kai is butt ugly. Yeah, no fucking shit. She is. There, she is. Ugh, I don't give a fuck. She, he, whatever the fuck. I mean, just goddamn. There's so much for me to remember. But yeah, no, she is. She doesn't take care of her fucking skin. It's like, why the fuck are you even doing beauty videos? You don't even take care of your appearance. You look like shit nowadays. You have this nasty, unwashed hair, greasy, fucking acne-ridden fucking skin. You look like you've been crying for days on end in any photo you put up online. You know. Jesus Christ. You fucking sit there and judge other people and then get all upset when somebody judges in your corner. Go fuck yourself. You know, you're just butt hurt because she did a fucking suicide girl spread and you didn't want your micro cock, your, nat your quantum cock. You underestimate the size of this penis. This penis is literally concave. <laughs> One so has these photos because the entire internet has those photos, not me. And again, I, I I don't have those photos. I've seen them. Like I said, they were circulating around. They circuit. It was weird. They've circulated at really interesting times. They circulated around on Tumblr. Around the, the height of the Shiloh drama. The height of the divorce drama. And then when this breaks, they recirculate it again. I wonder why that is. But they're not sitting on my hard drive. I wonder whose hard drive they might be sitting on. I wonder if it's the hard drive of the person who says, you know, I don't really care about this stuff. It doesn't really matter to me. But then years later remembers what their fucking modeling name was. I got an ex that did modeling and stuff like that. I can't remember for the life of me what the fuck their modeling name was. An ex of all fucking people. Somebody that I was with for a while. I don't fucking know because I don't care to retain that information. I don't care to retain. But here you are. Just, oh, I remember. I got to throw it out there. I got to conveniently censor it in a way that leaves enough of the name for you to go and kind of figure out what it might be. Fucker. That's what she's complaining about. Like, and, and this is what's crazy is like people will say, oh, all these girls have the same story. Yet yeah, they do have my ex sister in law who says there's photos from her. Sh oh, Jesus Christ. Really? You're going to get into the fucking semantics game now. Other uh, stories aren't the same. Yeah, they are. They got with you. You turned out to be a fucking psycho and they had to get out of the relationship, even if it means you break up with them.
That's kind of the same story. You're going to go into a fucking semantics game. God, there's nothing else I hate in the world more than fucking semantics besides maybe this fuck. Shoot. And that's, oh. that's her big complaint, that I have photos from her shoot, which I don't have. I don't believe online. you, and you haven't given me anything to believe you with. On my computer. And you're an adult who voluntarily posed in those photos. It's so confusing. But then you have another girl who's not... So what? So what? P fuck, what? So who cares if they did or not? Peter Steele fucking from Typo Negative did a fucking nude spread. <laughs> you know? And then his guitar player told him later that, like, hardly any women really read that magazine, which was funny. <laughs> He's like, Peter, I hate to uh, break it to you, but uh, not a lot of girls actually read that. Mostly it's gay guys, which there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But he did that under the idea that, yeah, he would like tons and tons and tons and tons of chicks were going to come to his concerts then. And uh, <laughs> it didn't really happen. I don't know. Maybe you should do one for Playgirl, you know? You get tons and tons of gay guys to come up and make fun of you too. <laughs> Does Playgirl even exist anymore? <laughs> Does... I've been saying anything about me and photo. Oh, on. There we go. My headphone cable came out slightly. Let me go back a couple seconds. Chelsea Courier goes, I mean, it was a nice shoot she did. Yeah. I, I, it was. Like I said, when they circulated, saw them. But, you know, maybe that's, again, that's just jealousy. He, see, he saw those photos and he's jealous. He's jealous that he continuously fucks over people that if he didn't fuck over, he might have had a shot with, even though in this case he would never have had a shot with because it was his wife's sister. So I'm not saying that at all. But, you know, he's just an inter You know what Greg is? Greg is a fucking incel that managed to land a wife. That's what he is. He is a fucking incel Elliot Roger of the highest order that managed to land a wife. That's what he fucking is. He got married. He's the incel that finally broke the mold. But for all intents and purposes outside of that, he's just still an incel. You know? I mean, I swear to God, I've read our incel and shit just for laughs. And it's like the fucking supreme gentleman bullshit that comes out of those people. I swear to God, it is the same fucking shit that you hear in this guy's videos about women. I swear to God, it's the same MGTOW fucking, fucking true force loneliness. That was originally like the first one I'd ever heard of this back in the early, two, uh, late, the early late 2000s. Um, bullshit these guys spout. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. You know, Steve from Latvia goes, he's Elliot Roger who hasn't done the shooting yet. Well, hopefully that never happens. God forbid he ever does. But, you know, God forbid he ever does. But yeah, no, he's just he's he's a fucking neck beard fedora wearing fucking incel that just lacks the fucking fedora and the neck beard, even though when he gets stressed out enough, he starts sporting it. The sparse fucking uh, the neck beard five o'clock shadow and shit. You know, at least I have the goddamn decency because I know I can't grow a full beard in to shave that shit. I have to let it get to a certain length where it doesn't kill my face to shave and feel like it's on fire. But yeah, you know, incel has female followers. Yeah, there are. There are such things as female incels. And I think uh, Kai could fall under that category, too. They're called fem cells. They're, they're just the female uh, version of an incel, basically. You know, and they're just as fucking psycho as you might would as you would assume from the uh, description. So, in fact, they're like arguably crazier than than just male incels. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Kipara goes. How does he even have one point six three million followers? Uh, well, it depends on how many of those fucking followers are real people. It depends on how many of them are actual real people. Because I don't think a lot of them are. I think that a lot of them are bots or just from subscription farming that he's purchased over the years. Because I have known people who they were always curious about the, the guy in the videos that I made. Because I don't, I don't really discuss a lot of the stupid shit I do online outside you know, of online sometimes to people that I know. And they found out about it only because they were automatically subscribed to his channel when they decided to create a YouTube channel. You know, They decided, eh, I'm going to mess around on YouTube, whatever. And they find out I'm already auto sub to this guy. And the reason that happens, the reason that happens is when people buy like fucking farmed subscriptions, you know, they'll go to a website, they'll pay like, you know, two, three hundred dollars and they'll get 20 or 30,000 subs. 
what ends up happening is that those, the, the, the site has an algorithm that searches for new channels, for people that just made channels or people that just use their Google services to activate uh, a YouTube channel. So what's interesting about Google, uh, let me get on this really quick, is that you technically like already have a YouTube, you technically have all these other Google services already before you sign your name up for them. You just have to like activate them by creating your presence there. So these uh, different sites, what they'll do is they'll algorithmically look, oh, this one just got activated. This one just got activated. This one got turned on. This one got turned on. And they'll auto sub immediately, even if the channel's like a second old. You know, so basically these people were um, automatically subscribed to it. And that's how they found out about this shit that I do. And it's only because he's buying subs because that's how those websites work. And that's the only way they could be auto sub to them because YouTube does not unless it's for people like. Um, hang on a second. Somebody in the chats. It's like, hang on a second. Respond, bro. Hey, somebody in the chat. Hey, fuckhead. What are you doing in my fucking chat? Is somebody in my chat? Is some seething fucking incel in my chat so you can go? Oh, it's probably just a troll. It's probably just a troll. Yeah, it's probably just a troll. Yeah, it's just a troll. Any, it's a troll. Anybody that would say shit like nice, nice try. Nice try. Anybody that would say he wrote successful books successful my ache and ass even he doesn't agree, agree that his books are fucking successful the same ex the, the guy in the chat that's senior uh, cellular senior cellular senior spielbergo yeah he's just a troll i yeah okay all right <laughs> all right probably somebody from canine yeah okay fucking <laughs> okay <laughs> It has. <laughs> I mean, I, if not, then okay. Apologies for that, but I mean, it wouldn't shock me. Let's get back on. <laughs> it's so confusing. But then you have another girl who's not even saying anything about me in photos, but rather someone else in photos. And this is supposed to be this. Uh, nice vagueness. What are you talking about? Okay, people keep mixing me up with people in my life and drawing a line regarding the accused actions of others if, as if I did them, which actually has nothing to do with me at all. I can't even follow that line of thinking because it's just confusing and just, uh, it's, it's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. Like if your friend is accused of shooting someone and everyone goes around saying you shot the person instead of your friend. Well, if there's reason to believe that you threw your friend under the bus and are trying to like frame them to take the fall for it. I mean, is that not a reasonable a reason for suspicion? <laughs> you know, and it's always to the personal, too. If your friend, somebody you care about is in this horrible situation. Let me go pull at those fucking heart, those uh, heartstrings. Bullshit. Same story like this is this is what people are perpetuating as the same story. But something I will say that people uh... it's weird. They would describe me this way, considering one of many people I broke up with had this to say right after what I had what to say. I've just so much I gotta follow. I gotta fucking listen to this guy prattle on about fucking just making up more web of lies and bullshit excuses. And then I gotta read this too. I, w I, I should have had like a study guide for this. I wasn't prepared for this. <sighs> I think are consistent about is saying that I'm a manipulator. I ask people. Oh, oh God, Jesus. Yeah, okay. So it's more shit. On fucking Discord. You're gonna shit on your ex again. Consistent story was. And on Discord, because I really just don't want to watch people's videos and I don't want to see their tweets. They get. Yeah, okay. Is that why the fact that you. The, the fact of the matter is, is that why you have like sock accounts that follow my Twitter and I know what they are? Is that why I was told by my, one of my best friends who happens to be an ex of yours? that you obsessively watch my videos, that you're probably watching this right now, so grow a pair of testicles and just fucking say it in chat already? Bullshit. Bullshit. I don't want to watch people's videos. That's why I'm obsessed with, like, controlling the narrative about me. Did he try to add you on Facebook, T. Bone Howard asks. No, he never tried to add me on Facebook. He wouldn't ever try to add me on Facebook. He's not that bold. He's a pussy. He's a total pussy. He's a fucking sackless piece of shit who's probably hiding in his fucking bedroom right now. Who's just completely, just completely incapable of being a man and stepping up to the plate. You know, he just makes up webs of lies of all kinds of bullshit. He can go fuck himself. He's totally full of shit. 
He's probably watching this right now. Watch there be a stream. I see that. There's going to be a stream of people. <laughs> I guess say he's like sent to me and passed on to me, and that's the only reason I know about anything. Oh, yeah. Yes, people sent it to me. People sent it to me. I was informed by a third party. I conveniently won't name because they don't want their name attached to it. I conveniently have all these people send me these things. I'm not watching. I wasn't watching Chris Hansen. I wasn't watching me go up on his website, his official website for Hansen versus Predators in the Hall of Shame. I am not aware that I'm getting passed around to like neighborhood watch groups for Predators and shit by like soccer moms and PTA people while putting my fucking kids in their schools and shit. You know what's fucking hilarious? When the first thing, when the first incident of that happened, when somebody shared him around in a PTA group, there were moms gossiping the way that, you know, people like that tend to gossip. And it was hilarious because they were like, oh, yeah, that guy kind of gave me bad vibes anyway. And like people that just see you in real life feel the same way that people online feel about you. Holy shit. Have you heard of the Asian Anision? hiding in my room uh yeah but i've i don't follow that shit enough i've seen uh elvis the alien i think he did a video or something about it and uh i don't know he just seems like a guy who's just extremely socially awkward and just he's just like completely socially inept so i don't know so i don't know T-Bone Howard goes, you know, this is going to sound twisted, but he's, Betty, he's jerking off to all the hate for attention. Probably. He's probably going to, like, slip and accidentally punch a hole in the wall of his shower. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I don't have the money to fix this! Because it's just not something that's fun. We all, like, the point of life is to be happy. So why would I... Is that why you look fucking miserable all the time? Also, one, your BF already outed you for sleeping with him on Facebook, so you did cheat. Uh, when we, we were never married, so what even? Thanks for taking full responsibility. Unfortunately, you forgot you already did that. I don't fucking... I'm not going to read this fucking long retraction by somebody that probably was just your writing anyway. And uh, throw somebody else under the fucking bus. So what? So they did something in a previous relationship that was not very flattering. You've done worse things. You tried to fucking use a girl for her virginity. You fucking piece of shit. How the fuck is somebody cheating on somebody that's not even you in a relationship that happened before you were with them matter at that point? You seething incel. Holy shit. Stalk these weird people. They just don't want to. But they say on Discord that the consistent stories that I'm controlling. I'm not controlling. Uh, prove that you're not. Controlling. Uh, in the sense that I don't like controlling people's lives. Like, I'm Oh, you're, you con you're not you you controlling in the sense you don't like it. Well, then does that mean that you do it anyway, even though you don't like it? What the fuck is... What the fuck does that mean? And prove that you don't. I don't like telling people what to wear. I don't like telling them what to eat. Oh, bullshit. Skinny packed. Bullshit. Bullshit. You fucking got on your ex-wife's ass because you didn't like her looking up dresses and doing feminine things. For God's sake, you had fucking Shiloh shave her, or you shaved her head for her because you didn't like her fucking hair because it gave her a sense of femininity. Bullshit! You wanted fucking Billy to shave her hair and fucking dye what was left green and tie her up in a fucking basement. Bullshit! You have a fucking daddy dom little girl fetish. Bullshit! Bullshit! I don't like controlling people. That's why I engage in behavior that's controlling and weird. You wanted to, yeah, somebody even Cloudy Wolf points out, didn't he write in his book that he wanted a girl to dress goth? Yeah, he got a girl to dress goth, and then that's why he got with her, just because he was able to get her to do it. You know? I mean, okay. Okay taste. But still, that's controlling and weird. Hell, fucking every one of the books you've made has all kinds of weird controlling shit in it anyway. Jesus. You're just a fucking control freak. 
You're one of these people with a one inch dick that fucking has issues with control because you want to control other people due to an established lack of control over the things in your personal life. You know? T-Bone Howard. I bet he goes to Hot Topic to get girls. He probably does, and he's really disappointed that most of the people who go to Hot Topic are people like me that just want to buy black craft shirts and shit, or just fucking incels that want to go in there and buy like 250,000 pop figures in a day, you know? Because, <laughs> you know, there's the way to get laid. You go into your fucking house, and it looks like a museum for pop vinyl figures. I don't like telling him anything and yes i have a couple but i mean i'm talking about people that obsessively collect those fucking things like i only fucking have the i have a beetlejuice a low pan from uh, big trouble in little china and i wanted to get the doom guy one but i could never figure out where the fuck to get that and now i don't even want it anymore because mcfarland makes a way better doom guy figure anyway I don't know if the pre-order is up on that and it's officially out, but I want it. It's a Doom Slayer figure and he's fucking bad as shit. I want to have him on top of my TV fighting my spawn figure. That would be sick as fuck. Because he has like the double barrel shotgun. So he has like the double barrel shotgun like right on spawn or something. That'd be kind of neat for a decoration. <laughs> and given that he jumps in different dimensions in these games, it kind of would work. I mean, it could make sense. But anyway thing who are in my personal life if they're public fabian lamas goes doom guys at gamestop well i guess i know where i'm taking a stop to later <laughs> if they have that there <laughs> i because that, that was cool they had another one that was like 300 dollars, and i'm like i'm not ever unless it's like a super super rare gundam because i love building models i'm an avid model builder uh i would ever pay that much for a figure ever if it was like a super rare gundam straight from japan then yes but just for a fucking thing that's going to collect dust and sit in my house fuck no 300 dollars is way too much i have however told every girlfriend she cannot do illegal drugs do illegal things and they shouldn't be in a relationship with you because they're going to wind up doing illegal things for your sexual benefit and they're going to have to do illegal drugs just to get over the damage you do to them emotionally so Book life, I'll say, you know, eat beyond meat or something like that. Like, don't eat dead animals. But in real life... Why are you a vegetarian for real? Answer this question definitively. Are you a vegetarian because you were raised a Seventh-day Adventist and they have the strangest fucking description of why you should be a vegetarian that I've ever heard, which is essentially boils down to your argument for vegetarianism? Or is there any other reason? Is it legitimately a health thing? Is it legitimately an ethical thing? Is it a moral thing? Or is it just because you were raised by a bunch of religious nutcases that pounded some arbitrary religious reason into your head as to not eat meat? You know, don't eat animals! It, it, it's, it's literally so burned into your fucking brain, this vegetarianism shit, that it's honestly weird. And there's fucking rumor out there, and it's been out there for a long time, that you're not even a vegetarian. That it's all just a fucking facade that you put on. Because you want to be some Greenpeace fucking good guy. Guess what? Factory farming sucks. You know what else is true? The sky is fucking blue too. Everybody knows that where meat comes from, it's fucking, it's horrible. How it's obtained and all that shit. I know that. I still eat it. Because I like eating meat. I don't care. My whole life is not going to fucking be destroyed because I know where the fuck my fucking food comes from. Would I buy and vote for more ethical treatment for farming in these practices? Fuck yes. If somebody actually like yourself came out there with some kind of goddamn idea to actually put something like that on, out there it's for legislation or some kind of put it into practice, but no. None of you fucking do. You never put your money where your fucking mouth is. That's why I have a problem with PETA of all organizations and never puts any of its fucking money where its mouth is and takes a lot of animals that it has no fucking resources to care for and ends up euthanizing them all and then has the balls to call people like me fucking degenerate because i have a burger every so often and i do eat vegan food by the way every so often i do eat vegetarian dishes every so often i like food i'm like a fucking what, what was that bart simpson i wash myself with a rag on a stick but in a fucking skinny body that's basically me. I wash my, I wash myself with a rag on a stick. <laughs> I said I was gonna get a drink. By the way, I haven't done that. Let me do that. I'll be back in two fucking seconds. Oh Jesus! I was supposed to hydrate during this. I wash myself. 
How many subscribers did I lose? Jesus Christ, I leave the room for 10 fucking seconds and 10 people jump out. Really? You motherfuckers have no patience. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. I leave the room for 10 seconds. Oh, now they're back. Yeah, I see how the fuck it is. No. <laughs> anyway. All right, speaking of Gundam, by the way. I got that in Japan. Very nice. Tokyo Akihabara. Fucking neat. I love this thing. Nothing like fresh sweet tea from the head of a... Ooh. From the head of a mess. Thank God that really didn't get on me. You saw nothing. Bro, what's your fave coffee? Hazelnut chocolate latte. Local shop out here makes them really great. Sorry about that spilled tea. Yeah, spilling the fucking tea for real, right? <laughs> Let's see. McDonald's or Starbucks? Oh, fuck both of those. Jesus Christ. If I want to get coffee somewhere, I look for local coffee shops because if I go to Starbucks, all I'm going to get is burnt coffee bean. Fuck that. Just, uh... I've heard McDonald's isn't that bad, but <clears throat> yeah, Jager Ultima, I love mocha latte. Yeah, there's a shop uh, local to me that makes the greatest hazelnut chocolate latte I've ever had in my fucking life. It's great. These people are amazing. They're great. And, um, you know, I, usually I like to go up to the mountains, go up camping and all that kind of stuff. Um Chow sauna and goes uh, hazelnut t uh, chocolate. Yeah, Nutella, essentially. You know, I've been actually trying to get them to put that on their menu because I order it so much. And other people, other people, uh, they, they, they want me to, t um, they, they, they want to, they, Jesus Christ, I just had a brain fart. Holy shit, did I just have a stroke? Anyway, um, I get that all the time and other people end up getting it too because they're like, is that any good? And I'm like, yeah, I've been trying to get them to put it on their menu as an actual Nutella. Is all going good? Everything good? There. Yep, everything's going good. Everything's going good in my hood. I'm also not a fan of uh, too many idiots there. 2020 Olympics there in Tokyo are filled with shady cunts backing the whole thing. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I don't know what that's all about. <clears throat> Ever had Kawa coffee? Uh, no. I don't believe I had. Have you seen the Joker movie yet? No. But I do want to. I want to see it because I want to see if it's the fucking terrible movie that CNN's been trying to convince me that it is. <laughs> you know? I want to see if it's the kind of movie that will make me go on a shooting spree after I see it. Apparently that's what it is. Even though I've heard that it's actually an amazing character study. And it's one of the best DC character movies that have been made so far. So I don't know. If I'm just like, all right, hang on. I'll get my headphones plugged back in. There we go. Something like that. Like, don't eat dead animals. But, and. Okay, I'll eat live animals instead. Cats, come here. Here for lunch. No, I'm not going to do that because I'm not fucking evil. Real life, I'm just like, you know, if you really want to eat whatever, that's your choice. I'm not going to stop you. I don't believe that worth shit. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe for a second that you want a complete fucking idiotic, weird, controlling fuck about the things people eat. And if they see you chomping down on a burger, you don't have a fucking aneurysm over it. You know? You just get the imagery of crazy Tammy with a belt in your head. How dare you eat that hamburger? Do you know what Jehovah would have to say about what? No, he wasn't Jehovah's Witness. What do Adventists believe in as far as God? Is it like a Jehovah or is it Yahweh? 
<laughs> what do Adventists really believe? <laughs> what is a fringe cult that is only after your money believe? The same goes with like phones. I think that you should, you know, be open with sharing your text with your significant other. You should be transparent, but I'm not going to. Yeah, yeah. So show me all your texts to make sure that you're not cheating on me. <laughs> Look at this fucking freak. I will say, you know, nine inch nails kind of make sense because your head is like a hole. There's nothing in it. You know, be stuck in your phone. I'm not gonna be like, mm, when you're away or anything like that. I don't believe that. I think that you like pray for Kai to leave their phone behind so you can just scour over it. You know, I, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. I believe that anybody that has ever been in your house that has left a cell phone just chilling out on a fucking table. Like if they leave the room to go take a piss, you know, you've, 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 if you know that you can just get in the phone cause they don't have a lock screen, you've gone through that phone to see if they're either talking shit about you or cheating on you. You know, I'm not that kind of person, but manipulative. Everyone is manipulative. Everyone. Especially people like you. But I know what? I don't go out of my way to manipulate people. I don't go out there and try to run weird social engineering games to gain people's virginity and shit. Like, what the fuck? And you guys don't realize it, but you are. Uh, you're manipulative in the way that you take a position on anything, for instance. What? Having an opinion is manipulative. Looking at an established pattern of behavior and then coming to a conclusion based on that pattern recognition that's being motherfucking manipulative what if you are a supporter of trump you will mm. oh jesus we have to go into this fucking territory that's like your stupid fucking goddamn i read this yesterday on my fucking um twitter yesterday i read the uh the the um official statement jesus he starts it out with a political argument please let it be the same thing holy shit play stupid games you win stupid prizes will automatically view facts as different than everyone else because you have that bias bias makes us manipulative but orange bad bad orange bad bad I, what does trump have to you know what, was Trump just put in to office as some kind of psyop to see how many stupid people on both sides of the fucking argument we could dredge from the surface? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. You know, it's like when somebody has no argument, you know what they do? They default to Trump. Like, I think Trump is a fucking incompetent shithead these days. It does nothing to do with what this whole thing is about. But okay. And look at this. Look at this. Let me just let me blur out the name, but let me keep the three letters of their name in. Just the three letters. Ah, uh, how desynced is my audio? How desynced is my audio? Because uh, somebody just said my audio was desynced. About eight seconds. Woo. All right. Okay. Well, somebody said my audio was desynced on their end. Okay. Well, if you haven't noticed it much, it's not a big deal. Like the you do YouTube thing when you hit more information, uh, cause there was an error thing coming up. It said I was eight seconds behind. I'm like, fuck latency. I'm back in the nineties. Jesus Christ. Look <laughs> at Jesus. I'd be able to fart, get up and leave the room, sit back down, and then you'd finally hear it when I sat back down. I feel like I'm dealing with a bunch of people who just want to see me. Still writing me after I got with my husband, Kai. And you're still writing your ex-wife's sister after you're married, so get over it. Jesus Christ. By the way, why is this relevant? The timestamp on the fucking letter you're showing on the screen says Saturday, July 7th, 2012. What does that have anything to do with now? 
2012. Jesus, the world really did end in 2012. We're obviously in some kind of hellscape because we're still sharing a world with this thing. Fail. So they're not going to hear anything I just said. They're just. I, I wasn't paying attention. What? Different than everyone else because you have that bias. Bias makes us manipulative. But I feel like I'm dealing. Uh, I think being a manipulative fuckhead is what makes you manipulative, Greg. Dealing with a bunch of people who just want to see me fail. So they're not going to hear anything. If you ever 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 pulled your head out of your ass you narcissistic self-obsessed water-headed ass and actually went and got a therapist and actually took responsibility and accountability for the things that you've done to other people you did what i've done for the last fucking 10 years to turn my life around people would respect you you refuse to do that And I love the message on the screen. It says, pay attention to people changing their stories completely. Yeah, that's why people don't believe you. Because you pay, you know, you, you change your stories conveniently, completely, all the time. Thing I just said. They're just going to hear the part where I say everyone's manipulative and they're going to be like, oh, well, he admits it. He's manipulative. And yeah, because you are. Well, there's no reason for me to believe you because you're basically giving the same fucking bullshit story like as you always do. And you have no evidence to prove that your side's real. You have nothing to disprove the things that people are saying. You didn't show anything that disproved it. You just talked your way out of having to take accountability for it. It doesn't become a human conversation. It just maintains as a ridiculous outrage culture reactional thing. Moving. Why wouldn't people be outraged about the things that you've done to them? They didn't ask to be put into that situation, you worthless fuck. Jesus, the cat cadaver. Hey! Canadian dollars for your patience responding to this greasy moron. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for your maple monies. <laughs> <laughs> on through the jeff emails this says uh the jeff files <laughs> i don't believe it's jeff i believe he actually sent himself a bunch of emails because it's very convenient that he sent himself emails or it's very convenient that he's sent emails about this by somebody that fucking has the same first letter of his name so i don't know <laughs> It was said by Jeff. Jeff's looking out for you. Jeff is a real friend, just like Jad was, even though we've never seen evidence that Jad, this guy who supposedly died when I was a teenager, was real, and I have never talked about it outside of being embroiled in shitloads of drama. It's like somebody I just made the fuck up for sympathy. <laughs> My friends have beat you up. And then you look at his friends, and they're all just stuffed toys. Not shitting on people that have stuffed toys as adults, but I mean, you know, imaginary friends and shit. Ripzilla is exposing you for your copyright claims. Yeah, <laughs> let me talk about copyright claims. So yeah, let's talk about copyright claims and your fucking flagrant abuse of the copyright system. There is this chick who said that she was pursuing me for... Repsi uh, Repzilla is not a chick. Repzilla is a dude with purple hair, fantastically cool purple hair. Well, just because I like the color purple. There, we get into biases. Oh, ho, ho. Um, but yeah, no. Repzilla is a completely different person. Nice way to flip the script immediately. So what about the fucking uh, DMCAs you filed to him? Asswipe. Her copyright claims. She was very upset because she got copyright claimed on a video where the, the, I think two or three of my songs were in it. Maybe less, maybe more. Why don't the people whose royalty-free music you purchase and then drone over fucking sue you for copyright infringement? Because sometimes that can actually violate the, uh, the uh, what is it, Creative Commons agreement you actually you, uh, sign when you get royalty-free fucking music, you know? You're basically just reselling their work, you know? And by the way, who gives a fuck if your music gets ripped off? Your music sucks. You know whose music doesn't suck? Mine. You should buy my music. Buy my music. Because if you want to listen to something that isn't fucking goddamn terrible, yeah, mine isn't. His is fucking horrible. He's basically made the same fucking song over and over and over again for 10 fucking years. He has no nuance. He has no understanding of fucking music theory. He doesn't even try to improve his skills as a fucking music creator.
You know, he just sits around and fucks around with loops in FL Studio or buys royalty free music and drones over it. You know, what does this guy know about music? What does he know? It's not like he's a professional sound and audio engineer. It's not like he's been involved in music for the last 15 years of his life. Look at that move! My, my IQ is 14! Look at me, re! <laughs> my IQ is 14. <laughs> my face is melting! Someone help me! Some... <laughs> I was a cop in the Air Force! Respect my authority! <laughs> <laughs> yeah his hair looks fucking horrible in this video i agree his hair is fucking awful it's like he's combing it too to hide this huge bald spot that he's got on the side of his part like i admit like i'm starting to thin a little bit here but you know i'm an old fuck now so if shit happens whatever either you deal with it or just fucking whine about it the rest of your life you know but he's got like a huge part of this just like whole fucking section of his scalp just fucking missing but yeah, no, he, he likes to shit on his, his haters about, like, his musical ability being better. Yeah, that's why I have all this shit, you know, that I use all the time, you know. I'm not a drum set. I'm a musician. I'm a banana. <laughs> God. It's hard to do that voice, by the way. <laughs> Give me a second. Total Biscuit claimed to have an IQ of 135, yet he disabled comments and turned his back on his own subreddit because they dared to criticize his egotistical cancer-ridden ass. Uh, well, <laughs> tell it like it is. Uh, well, I mean, a lot of the super popular YouTubers and stuff, they're kind of basically popular because a lot of their charisma comes straight from uh, e e e e ego. Sorry. So I was looking at the Crimson Emo's comment down there. So Ego and E, you know, they were starting to blend. Crimson Emo goes, do the Joker voice. Which Joker voice? Do you want the Mark Hamill Joker voice? I love being able to do that. <laughs> oh no, somebody disliked my video boy. I wonder who that could be. Do the Herbert voice. <laughs> you want me to do the uh, Nisian in his own environment voice? Hey, I've got an idea for you. Why don't you go and you hit me up on Patreon? You've sent me some of your monies. Mm hmm. And then I'll fly you out to my house in the woods and you get to be in my videos. Well, my private videos that I film in the basement because I've got a bed in my basement and you can be on my YouTube that no one gets to see. And I'll get to beat off to it later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Chris. Oh, by his cuck self. Okay, let's move on. But she said she was going to sue. Oh, my headphone came And so she took your guys. Hang on, hang on. Let me move back. Fucking... <laughs> Set because she got copyright claims on a video where the, the, I think two or three of my songs were in it, maybe less, maybe more. But she said she was gonna sue me, and so she took your guys' money and she flew out here and she went to a concert and then she went home. Yeah, well, here's the thing I don't think that's cool, but the fact that you still copyright claimed over it when it was under fair use is shitty. See, this is why, and I'm gonna fucking and I'm gonna get into this really quickly here. This is one of the reasons why I fucking hate when people do stupid shit like that, you fucking ass holes. Okay? When you do stupid shit like that, what ends up fucking happening is all it does is give more credence to this idiot. And it sucks. It sucks. All you fucking do is you give more of an argument to this fucking idiot by ripping people off. Now, 
now basically violating fair use law and false DMCAing people's streams and fucking videos and all kinds of other fucking shit. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. And to sue over that, they would have had a valid case. When people go out there and they try to catfish this guy for information, don't do that fucking shit. Don't do that fucking shit. This fucking, all it does is fucking undermine everything people, like, one of the reasons I kind of do the shit the way that I do is, one, people find it amusing, okay? Two, and it's how I feel about all this shit. Some of this fucking shit really gets me pissed off. But, do I go out there and fucking do fake stupid fucking shit? Like, oh, I'm gonna go catfish this guy for, no, because guess what? If you ever get fucking caught, the whole goddamn subterfuge is up, and it just backfires right in your fucking face. It just backfires right in your fucking face. But yeah. Am I still live, by the way? Because the preview window on here is actually replaying the first hour of my stream. I need to know if I'm actually still live, guys, because it's replaying the first hour of my stream in the preview window. <laughs> Have I completely driven YouTube crazy? Let's see. Bro, would you ever try to get muscles? I work out all the time. I don't like metabolism slowing down in my 30s and shit. So I do try to take care of that as best as I can. Anyway. Okay, so I'm still live. All right, here we go. So it's probably just timed out in the preview window up here. All right. That's the story I was told. That's how serious the people are who talk about copyright claims and me. You have... Uh, so you just jump off Repzilla who has co copyright claims on his videos for no fucking reason responding to him. You did it to Repsion too. You never did it to me because you know better. Because you know I'll break my foot off in your fucking ass. You know? If you do that shit. So fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah. So you're just going to focus on one person that did something stupid. See, that's the reason why you don't do that. You don't do that stupid shit because he'll just fucking hyper focus on it and then he'll misrepresent it as the whole of anybody else's argument. But yeah. So you false copyright claim fucking Repzilla. You fucking do it to Repsion too. You do it to countless other fucking people out there. It's bullshit. Even the, the most insidious one that you do is you copyright claim it and don't have it taken down, but you just start making money off their content. You know, did he, did, I, I don't, I don't know if this is 100%, okay? I don't know if, uh, if this is 100%, but didn't he try that with the girl who read his books and shit? I don't know. Just because she like did a review of his books, he tried to make money off it. A person who literally took part in literal fraud right in front of you. Literally. And yet... Claiming to be the heroes. That's why I say, guys, don't drink. Show heroes. Fuck, fuck your sense of heroism in this. People are doing it because it's the right fucking thing. We're not going out there trying to be like internet heroes and shit, you dumb fuck. The Kool-Aid. Outrage culture is intoxicating. But there's more. This guy emails me a lot. <laughs> yeah, you email yourself a lot. Because guess what? The equivalency of what you're doing in this video is talking to yourself. Because no one's buying it. I guess thanks. I don't know if I should be thankful. Apparently my Canadian ex, you know the one that got pregnant with another guy's baby and also said she had sepsis when she didn't, told me she had sepsis. You're the one that said that shit. Holy fucking shit. Look at me, guys. I'm rewriting history using my big ass bulbous butt chin. I'm going to rewrite history, guys. No, you're the one that came out there and tried to fucking manipulate everybody to think that was fucking, you know, oh, Jesus. Well, apparently it really did happen. The whole thing was a mess. It was like, oh, look at this fucked up shit going on. I'm going to get so many fucking views, man. I'm going to make so much money. No, not Gina Rella. Um, not Gina Rella. I, I was talking about um, Strange Aeons. 
<laughs> yeah, he, he fucking read about her. All this crazy stuff. The list is huge on the things that she did. Like, even. Yeah, you have the videos up on your channels still. Why don't you conveniently know anything about it now? People who don't like me. A lot of you guys know this. This girl, allegedly, she took someone else's premature baby photo and posted it online saying sorry little guy or something like that because allegedly the baby died that's what a pathological liar does yeah that's what a pathological liar named gregory jackson of fucking gig harbor washington does here's the real story about what happened so way back in the day it was myself and a few others that were one of the first initial anti-anision groups that were like actually a cohesive group one person i'm just going to say their first name is keith i'm not going to leave it it's no it's not the keith you're thinking of it's not don't stand so close to me it was somebody else entirely okay completely different person they just happen to have the same first name keith had a sister all right, sister had a fucking premature baby. The photo of the baby, because this asshole was scoping around our groups and stuff, is the one he took, he put it out there, and then he threw on his fucking goddamn girlfriend that he was with under at the time under the bus by saying, oh, look what you did. You did it. You did that. No, you fucking did that. You threw her under the fucking bus, made her be okay with doing it, you fuck. Then you sit here and turn your ass around and fucking say, oh, look, look, look at what she did. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. That whole thing was your idea to get back at a fucking community of people that were doing the same thing that people are still doing to you to this day. And it didn't fucking work. What did you think? Somebody wasn't going to say something about that ass wipe? You stupid fucking lying sack of shit. Jesus fucking Christ. And she is a self-admitted pathological liar. And you guys know this. You know this. So I don't know this. Stop trying to get me with this false fucking appeal to authority. Get out of here with this shit. You want people to know this. Now you're trying to fucking appeal to my ego by saying, you know it, right? You know it. I don't know it. I don't, I don't go into these fucking responses to you believe like first want really trusting or believing anything you say i go into them with the understanding that you're probably gonna lie about everything that comes out of your fucking mouth and then you try to appeal to my ego and appeal to authority anyway it's amazing i i, I if this guy gets interrogated by the police i swear to god somebody send that footage if it comes out right to a channel called jim can't swim Look it up if you like interviews, uh, videos with like, uh, you know, criminals and stuff, because he's a psychologist that actually, did, you know, basically gives you a play by play of what the interrogators are doing. And it's amazing. It's actually <laughs> it's actually narrated by um, uh, a guy on here I know named Kazoom. He does great narration on it. It's great. Absolutely great narration. But uh, I would love to see the interrogation of that just just dissected all the stupid manipulation tactics as fuck used would just come apart in minutes. It's because they trained for years to deal with people like this. Trained for years. Please don't be so biased that you ignore that obvious truth. But no, this girl. What obvious truth with no fucking evidence? Again, another appeal to, appeal to ego. You know, you just don't remember, guys. Remember what? This fucking bullshit narrative with no backup that you put. Yeah, fuck you. <sighs> Holy shit, I just found Jim Can't Swim yesterday. Ah, he's great. His channel's amazing. His channel's amazing. Julie is calling Kai a predator and a liar when the same girl is emailing Kai a little while ago saying Kai needs to save himself from my relationship because Kai's in trouble or whatever. Yeah, you know what? I used to say that shit too. A lot of people used to say that shit. A lot of people used to think, you know what? That you, you know, she needs to get the fuck out of here. He needs to get the fuck. Whoever the fuck they are this day of the week needs to get the fuck out of there. You know what we did? We gave the fuck up because if they're such a goddamn airhead that they get a fucking degree in psychology and they can't even take a look at the signs that are present in the relationship about how abusive and manipulative and one-sided it is, then guess what? They're never gonna leave. And then it comes out that she's just as guilty of being a predator as you are. So at that point, nobody gives a fuck. Stay with them. We don't give a fuck. You're two peas out of the same rancid fucking pod. So nice way to throw this person under the bus with this bullshit that, oh, you know, you should stick around. 
you know, because Kai loves me. And this person is just trying to convince them to leave me. See how bad they are? Now we don't care. Now we just stay around each other. You're perfect for each other. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Take me serious, guys. By the way, let me just belch all over my uh, microphone. Ever. And it's so confusing because it's like, wait, wasn't Kai the alleged victim? But she was until we realized she's not a fucking victim. You fucking dildo. Because people couldn't make Kai come to their side, they just villainized him. I don't want anybody to come to one side or the other. Just do the right thing. This is what's so stupid. It's an acknowledgement that you have about what you're doing and knowing that it's wrong. That it is morally wrong to use and manipulate people for your own fucking purposes. And it's in little statements like that. Do you let it surface? It's unbelievable. Like, it's not a lack of self-awareness. It's just being a really bad manipulator and a really shitty liar. And I think that's what people mix up is him being really self-unaware. Oh, the self-awareness fucking... The self-unawareness shocks me. I don't really think he's that self-unaware. I think he really is aware of what he's doing. He's just under this delusion that it works constantly, and it really doesn't. Chris Spawn asks, if Gerd goes to jail, what kind of prison tattoos would he get? A big dick right on the back of his head, I'm sure. One that he wouldn't want. And that's what's really funny. Like, people are so funny. <laughs> yeah, except for you. You're about as funny as ball cancer. How they deal with these kinds of things. If you're not with yeah, it's amusing to you to see people suffering in an emotional pain from your treatment of them and to just mock it in front of your fucking audience of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, depending on the channel, like it's fucking nothing. It's so funny to you because to you, they're just flopping around like a fish with no power to your supreme gentleman authority. Yeah, fuck off. Jesus. The fact that this is amusing to you to watch somebody in that state is just disgusting. But you are the one who filmed them in a fucking having a seizure. Having a trauma induced seizure. You fuck. With me, I'm going to turn you into an absolute villain. You are officially a boomer. Jesus. I haven't even thought about that fucking warmongering shithead you see on the screen right now in years. That's what people do. And it's not a matter of if you're not with us, you're against us, okay? It's not a win or lose thing. Established pattern of behavior. Conclusions have been come to because of witnessing that established pattern of behavior. You get the fuck out of here, all right? The fact that you even want to shift the narrative like this is an... It's a silent admission. You know what you're doing. You're completely in control of it. It's like... I think that's the part that angers me the most is the hubris, the sheer hubris of it. It's unbelievable. And I, I'll never comprehend why. Because you're a fucking dumbass. People couldn't explain how I have a marriage of nearly seven years if I'm in fact a monster. Because you're married to someone no different than you. I'll, I'll fucking go over it again. The reason I think your marriage lasts is because you know that you have both in each other what's wrong with each other. You know that you're both predators. You don't know who's going to rat who out first. So out of fear, you stay together. I'm sure that Kai's well aware that, you know what? You'll throw her right under the bus the first chance you fucking get. I guarantee if this goes as far as it needs to go and some kind of plea deal comes up, you'll do some scum fuck shit to get out of it. Some scum fuck shit. Like, I, I tell you everything she did if I get reduced time. And I bet she'll do the same thing. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, you know, how 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 does how does Kai talk? Yeah, I'll do some. I'll I'll tell you whatever you need in order to get less time. You know, she fucking chose to be with you. She was already fucking. According to one of her exes, you want to bring up exes and shit, motherfucker. She was already doing this shit before she got with you anyway, and she was manipulating like like fucking bisexual girls in high school. And weird little fucking games like this before they got married to you. You probably already knew about that too. They probably told you and you're like, oh shit, somebody as fucked up as me. They understand me. They get me. They understand me. Now let's go fuck with people together because it's the only way my dick can get hard anymore.
Otherwise, I'm going to have to go swallow another bottle of Cialis. <sighs> what will the kids do if they go to jail? Get reprimanded or get uh, custody uh, by um, CPS and then get remanded to like a foster family. More than likely, because there's nobody sane in fucking Greg's family to take care of those kids. His mom is a fucking middle-aged nutcase, quasi-new ager, who had a mental breakdown at one point in her life and had suicidal thought and ideation going on while I was a massage therapist and thought that because she can hear voices in her head, they were the voices of her client's spirits and shit that she was massaging. So that's how she figured out she was quote-unquote a psychic. Fuck, you want your fucking kids around some lunatic like that? Bullshit. I'd rather send my kids off to a fucking gulag than fucking have them lay around somebody like that. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Are the genetics going to ruin them? I don't know. Bad genetics seem to run in the Onion Clan. That's so uncool. So they said they so they just said Kai was also somehow a monster. Hey, somebody that predate you know, the, the predates on young girls in bad familial situations or home situations or with emotional issues. Yeah, that's pretty monstrous to, to take advantage of somebody because of something they can't control or factors they can't control. That's fucking monstrous. Kai, the person everyone claimed was the victim, is now a victim of those people. No, we realize she's not a fucking victim. She's just a big whiny bitch who needs to shut her fucking goddamn mouth about, I'm crying. I'm crying. My fucking feelings are hurt. I want to be like a fucking trans boy. You're hurting my fucking feelings. Yeah, I got a fidget spin, 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 spin. Fucking lady is crying. Mmm, grayons. It's like one of those brainlet fucking memes. Fuck you, you lying sack of fucking shit. That because you are rejected, you have to make it so someone is perceived. Make it so. It is evil. Like with every single person I seem to kick out of my life. Yeah, it's the same fucking story. This man baby treats us like shit. But it's the semantics! Re this doesn't matter. It's the same pattern of behavior. They think, oh, well, I can't have you. No one can. Uh, that's how you think. The part two is coming soon. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Part two is coming soon, depending on how bad this gets fucked. Oh, I, I, at this point, I don't even think... If that's basically the measure of, upon which he's doing this shit... Then, oh boy, there's probably not going to be a part two. There's probably not going to be a part two at all. Because if he thinks even for one second that I ain't going to do this shit to part two, you're out of your fucking mind. You're out of your fucking mind, whatever little mind you have left. His mom's a psychic and he's a psycho, Chris uh, Spawn says. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know, she's running her own fucking scams anyway. And I, I don't diss on people that are into the supernatural. I don't diss on people that are into occult things, but I do diss on middle-aged people who want to go and fucking claim that they are when they're just replacing mental illness with supernatural. You know, people that uh, their son admits that, you know, he was beaten by them. Somebody that lies to their fucking family about their fucking ex-husband being a child molester and gets the kid to fucking believe it his whole goddamn life. Uh, what about his sisters? Aren't they sane? Uh, relatively. But I'm pretty sure they've got probably some loony genes in them as well. Like, everybody is his family that I was able to research. I mean, they just seem just equally fucking crazy. Like, whatever the fuck went on in their gene pool. I guess somebody must have thought their gene pool was a public bathroom. You know, somebody took a shit in the shallow end of the gene pool, thought it was a toilet. Ugh. You know, and it sucks because, you know, when, when it comes to stuff like that, when you have stuff that just, you know, runs in the family, the problem is, it's that, you know, whatever the fuck is wrong with him, he's passed into his kids. His fucking youngest, uh, his fucking youngest is always bullied by his other. And that's been his, he, those were his words. Like his son just beats the shit out of his fucking, uh, his daughter all the time. And, you know, at, a, at the age of a toddler, that's not good at all. That, that sort of the improper socialization, that is a good diagnostic indicator. The kid might turn out to be a criminal, you know, if they're willing to go that far as a little kid. It's very hard. You have to have really good therapy to get them out of that. 
because then they're just going to start being as manipulative and using as shitty as possible with other kids in the school environment, you know? And I don't think he even put them in play, uh, preschool to be in play situations or in social situations with other children to get them properly socialized. He probably just sat the fucking kids in the house to make money on YouTube all the fucking time. Those kids have got those kids are probably going to be fucking horrible to other children around them. Like he's had people that have been in his fucking house that said all the kids do is just scream and cry and cry and scream all day because they don't do anything with them. You know, that their fucking house is a goddamn filthy fucking pigsty. And it would it really surprise me. No. Would it really surprise me? You know, I, I honestly believe the only reason he has kids is because his, his fucking spouse didn't have an abortion. He didn't want them. He didn't care for him. He didn't fuck. He just, he was inconvenienced by their presence in his life. Um, fuckhead. Oh yeah. I mean, there's that one video where she's doing like a fucking Taco Bell review and, uh, you can hear him screaming, take some responsibility in the background. And he's yelling at his fucking kids. Like, he's not filming a fucking video. He's not doing anything like that because none of the audio that we hear corresponds or correlates with any video that he's done. And uh, because of the level of autism that exists in some of these fucking communities, you know, people scoured through his videos, you know, and they tried to find one that sunk, uh, that, that synced up with what he was saying, and they found nothing. So... The assumption is that he was screaming at his fucking children and it's awful because they're just toddlers and you can hear him in the background, even though she's got music over the top of it. You know, there's a quiet spot in the video where she doesn't say anything, you know, and you can just hear him in the background in the other room because their house is like a ranch home in the, le in the, in the sense that it's only like one level with just like a basement and that's it. So you can pretty much hear anything that goes on in the house because it's not like multi-leveled or ton of rooms or anything. He's like on the other side of the door and you can hear like little care. You can hear first a little girl go mommy. And then you can hear him in the background go. Take the responsibility. It's fucking horrible. It's fucking horrible. It's like, do you have any idea what that kind of shit does to children? Do you have any idea what the fuck impact that has on them later on? Because when they're that young, they start seeing you treat them like that and reacting to you treating them like that. Then they treat other kids like that. And then they just grow up all completely maladjusted and fucked up and think that's how you be as an adult. It's fucking awful. It's fucking awful. Yeah. Moonranchi. Yeah, that's what he basically said. Yeah. Crimson Emo goes bohemian trailer trash. Yeah, you know what? That's the funny part about it. His family really is white fucking trash. They really are. They're just fucking white trailer trash that's never really done anything besides be like fucking Zoomer sub suburbanite fodder. That's all the fuck they are. They, they, they're fucking scum. They're, they're, I don't even give a shit. At this point, and you know, if, if his sisters watch this, they can get all butt hurt over it. Guess what, motherfucker? He's your brother. At some point, you did have a responsibility to do something about this. He's your fucking relation. You know, if Crazy Tammy watches this, fuck you, you ugly old fucking hag. He's your son. Why the fuck didn't you get a handle on this problem? Bitch, they told you he was born with water on the brain. They told you he was born with a swelled brain. He was born with his cord wrapped around his fucking goddamn neck. Do you think that somebody that's born with that's going to turn out normally? No. I mean, goddamn, for all intents and purposes, it really seems like he's got some kind of intellectual disabilities that are, like, really severe, and you didn't even give a fuck to do anything about it, and you just sent him off on a fucking go in the Air Force because you couldn't get him to do anything with his life because he was going to sit there and be a loser in your fucking back room forever in his fucking bedroom. Fucking what a loser he still is. I mean, if it wasn't for the nest egg of YouTube money he's made over the years, I wouldn't believe he'd be anything besides a homeless fucking dipshit or still living in your fucking house because he has no skills to do anything. <laughs> you know, he doesn't do shit. You know, I mean, you fucking had to deal with his fucking crazy. He even outed himself about this about a year and a half ago on Twitter. He put up all these records from his fucking time in public school, getting RPC'd and all that shit. All kinds of shit. You know, all fucking parent conferences for just horrible treatment of kids around, you know, his classes and shit. <laughs> you had to deal with that. You'd not, oh, you know, he's the wonder baby. 
He's the wonder baby. He didn't do anything wrong. And AMM goes, he was? You're not shitting? Yes, I'm not shitting. He has a video where he admits that himself. He basically admits that he was born with his head about as round as his fucking torso, which is absolutely disturbing. That's like rubber Johnny fucking creepy. He basically said that he was born practically blue. He was basically born with his cord wrapped around his neck, strangling him, and he had fucking swelling and water on the brain. The fact that he didn't turn out to be a wheelchair-bound fucking retard doing nothing but drooling his whole life is actually kind of amazing, but that's still not enough to make up for the damage that can do later on in life. And then, as T. Bowden Howard asks here, didn't he go to college? No, he never attended college. Where did you attend college, Gregory? Where did you go to college? What was your major? What was your understudy, huh? You never went. You know why? Because you're a fucking liar. You went to college level courses for honors in high school and then you flunked out of them because you couldn't understand the nature of the fucking work and you were so smart you bitched about it on one of your old websites you can find with a way back machine. You had a fucking abysmal GPA. You got a 56 on your fucking ASVAB. Where'd you go to college? What did you, what did you study? How to be an even bigger shithead liar? Fuck off. Oli Golden, Oli Golden, Oli Golden, or I almost said Golden Core says, CB, do you still keep in contact with Repsion? Yeah. Yeah. We were able to bury the hatchet about a lot of things and we still stay in contact now. I'm actually following him on Instagram, YouTube, and uh, Twitter. So, you know, people change, times change, people grow up. You know, rubber johnny i remember that vid how fucking funny that was yeah apex twin man apex twin rubber johnny <laughs> he came out of the womb on a noose i find that kind of funny in a fucked up way says zanks ran i know right <laughs> even god was like no okay no <laughs> when the, the fucked up part is that i'm not even saying that to be edgy i mean he like admitted that in his own words so, yeah, that's where I found out about that shit. And then he even said it on his old website, too. You know, and I'm not even trying to put the motherfucker down because of it. But basically, my point is, if you if your son comes into the fucking world like that and you know, you know how severe that is and you don't do anything besides let him just fucking sit around and become worse and worse and worse and worse with time. Uh, yeah, it's at that point your fucking fault that he turned out the way that he fucking did. You never gave a shit. I, fu I hate that fucking bitch that's his mother more than anything in the world because she knows what the fuck is wrong with him and she doesn't give a shit. She doesn't give a fuck and you can lie your ass off in a fucking video and you can sit there with your boomer fucking methed out fucking gross, nasty, greasy, dread looking ass and say, you don't get to say that about me. You don't get to say that about my son. You know what the fuck he's goddamn involved with. He runs to you and your fucked up sister all the goddamn time about it the second he gets into fucking trouble. Hell, you manipulated the cunt to give you a fucking house. Whoop, I nearly knocked my camera down. And, and you know, so don't sit there and, and fucking feign ignorance and shit. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. Jesus Christ, you went there and fucking, supposedly in his words, beat the shit out of him all the fucking time. Lied to him about his fucking dad. City, it still believes that shit to this day. And people have looked up the guy's criminal record. There's motherfucking nothing in there. Nothing in there about child molestation, abuse, or anything like that at all. And you told him on the cusp of a shitty goddamn divorce. Fuck off. What the hell is the matter with you? What kind of sick-in-the-head fucking person says that shit? You know, I get the divorces can be shitty and they can be really fucked up, but what kind of sick-in-the-head fucking person says that shit? Uh, Hellbound is scary to ask Stevie Wolf what's on Nisian's mom's YouTube channel. It used to be Vam Choir, all one word, like choir of people, C-H-O-I-R, with Vam in front of it. But it doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. She nuked it. She nuked it when she was getting too much negative attention because of the fucking goddamn dumb shit she brought upon this fucking earth that she takes no responsibility for the treatment of turning him into what he is. Fucking idiot. Shit, that's probably where Onision's trauma came from. Shakes my head. Still no excuse, though. Mr. 123 Tubbs says. Uh, that's an interesting name. Uh, more than likely. More than likely. I mean, when he's going out there and he's saying stories like, yeah, I got like, fucking molested at the age of 11 by a 15-year-old girl, and then something else happened again. He made some weird allegory to like a pregnancy scare happening really, really early in his life when he was a kid. And then he was like, we had a pregnancy scare. And I'm like, we. 
okay, who's the we? You and the girl that it supposedly happened with? And if you were like 13 when you said it happened, that's fucking crazy. Like, what the fuck are you doing? But, or do you also mean we as in your family? Like they handled it. Like they've been doing ever since you were fucking just a little kid, bailing you out of trouble, turning you into this complete fucking com incompetent bastard that can't take accountability and responsibility for shit. Ugh. AMM says, do you, can you, you can still see your father and mother. Uh, well, uh, eh, not in my case, because my parents are both uh, deceased. So, <laughs> people, <laughs> people, <laughs> People used to make um, comparison. So it's like, this is like the Batman and the Joker, sort of. And I'm like, well, unfortunately, much like Bruce Wayne, my parents are also dead. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah. So, I mean, at first it was just mom and, you know, starting the year off with some fantastic news about my fucking father. Anyway, uh, Xanax Hour with Stevie is over. AMM goes, I mean, when they're still alive. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, when my mom and dad were still alive, yeah, no, no. They had, they had visitation with me. My, my grandparents had custody of, and such of me. But to be honest, the way we handled it in my family, it wasn't, a, it wasn't really a big deal, <laughs> you know. I mean, it was weird, certainly, when I was a kid. But over time, I mean, once it's explained to you, you kind of understand why it happens. I mean, I couldn't hold it against them. It's like, whatever not a big deal but um you know but with uh with greg's upbringing and stuff it's, it's kind of weird to me it's like you know he had like a revolving door of father figures because that crazy bitch just couldn't stay fucking married to anybody ever you know like he made a story up i don't know if he made it up but he basically made a story up with um you know, saying that she married a guy or was with a guy named Greg and she was fucking him and he can hear the name like all throughout the house, you know, it's like creepy. It's like, why the fuck would you do that? Why the fuck would you give your kid like fucking body massages with oil and everything? I get, you know, you're a massage therapist, whatever. You got like muscle problems or something, you know, it helps. Yeah. But when your son's describing it in a way that makes it sound sexual to the point that he's got to back it up and then say that it's not sexual, it's like, okay, <laughs> it's like, that's kind of molesty, you know. Your dad's a child molester, but allow me to do this overtly weird thing that may be sexual, then you had to back up and say it's not sexual, <laughs> you know. And let me throw the blame for it on your father because I'm not married to him anymore. Ooh, proper people have a new video. And so does Wang. Justin Wang is neat. Yeah, his naked ass. That's fucking gross. She massaged his ass. That's so gross. You gotta get them glutes. <laughs> Flutterfin Ghost, I watched your Some Guy vids when I was in high school, and I'm glad I found you again. You were a big part of helping me understand that Greg was a creep. Well, I'm glad I was able to help. I get that from a lot of people, even to this day. Anision's father was Yog so <laughs> Yog so uh, he was a he was an HP Lovecraft demon, yes. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I mean he honestly sounds like a stand up dude. If what's accused of him is completely and totally false and you know, he does civic things for his community. He does you know, charitable things for his community. He works like as a minister or something like that, from my understanding, you know? So I don't know. I mean, it's like when a guy just fucking lies so much about like, his family and shit, it's like hard to, it's like hard to figure out, like, where does the bullshit end and the reality begin? You know, you want me to think this guy's a scum fuck, and then I go out and there and find out, you know, with a lot of other people, he's not really a scum fuck, and nothing you're saying about him makes any sense because it doesn't line up with your bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, senior is just gonna fucking say stupid shit. But thank you for timing him out. Uh, yeah, Stevie, I wanted to thank you. Also, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here today. Thank you so much for everything you ever did, man. Well, oh, that's pretty um, heavy. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that. But... 
You're welcome. Zanks Ren goes. Oh, geez, it just hit it. Okay. Zanks Ren goes, there's some Oedipus shit going on between those. You know, there's so much shit, Oedipus shit that goes on between the two of them. He made a video parodying it. With his mom. In the video. I mean, you might as well have just made a big ass neon sign that said, we fuck. <laughs> and just filmed it. T-Bone Howard goes, I hope your music career takes off. I hope it does too. You should play live shows. I've been looking around the local area for places that will do live shows for my stuff. So there's that. But I do hope it takes off. I'm actually probably going to get back on stream a little later and work on some stuff. Because I've got a couple of neat ideas. Greg just has a metaphysical yellow flash 200 goes... Greg just has a metaphysical disregard for reality. <laughs> it's an abstract kind of feel, yes. It's an instrumental it, it's an instrumentality fucking horror kind of feel. Munarashi goes quote from his book, he probably thought this wasn't creepy at all. Sometimes I felt like an alien who had a VIP pass to submerge myself in a primitive human culture just for entertainment. You know, he has quotes like that in a lot of his books. It's, you know, very telling. And the, t the trend with sociopathy is that you don't feel connected to anybody at all because you can't. So the fact that he puts those kind of quotes in his books, it's interesting. It's like an admission, sort of. Chris Xavier says, I first found out about you during that McKamey Matter, McKamey Manor nuttery back in 2014. Yeah, that shit's still going around. He moved that shit up to Tennessee. The bullshitter, fucking Russ, is a total bullshitter, the guy that runs it. Uh, you know, if you see any news articles about it, basically, here's the gist of it. McKamey Manor is totally full of fucking shit. You don't actually get run through 10 hours, and they do what they can to get you out in the first because they don't know what to do with you for the majority of that time. Sure, they rough you up a bit. You're not going to get $20,000 if you make it through the whole time because the guy doesn't have fucking $20,000 to give. The whole thing is just a fucking scam. OK, there's a guy who works in the haunt industry, the haunted house industry. Um, I think he also worked with like some independent filmmakers who do horror movies on a lower budget scale as well. Who was at a convention with a guy who runs McKamey Manor and shit. And he basically saw the guy buy like twenty thousand dollars in fake prop money. So it wasn't twenty thousand dollars worth of something, but it was like twenty thousand uh, dollars fake prop money. And that's what he's been showing off. It's all fake. The whole thing is bullshit. Originally, the whole thing was a scam with a fake, like, charity for, like, large breed dogs to get them out of, like, breeders and shit and get them into better homes and crap. You know, I, I like dogs and I'm trying to get your money. Yeah, he's basically pocketing all your fucking charity and shit. He's po pocketing all your fucking money. He's a scammer. Fuck that liar. Fuck that liar. You fucking weirdo. Fucking psyop weirdo from, like, way back in the day. He had like a military record of being like in the Navy, which I'm not shitting on, but it's just weird that he did like psyop shit in the Navy. He had like a brain trauma thing and then he fucking comes out and does this scammy weird bullshit. That's what happened with that whole thing. Because my initial problem with the McKamey Manor thing was that it was like a safety hazard. It's like, how can you really do these like fake waterboardings and shit to people and nobody gets seriously injured? And it turns out it's just all bullshit. The whole thing is bullshit. It's, it's a total fucking scam. It's a total... So, whatever. You know, he makes, like, so many wild fucking claims that he can't back up and shit. You know? And even worse, too. Like, when he was still doing it out in California, he had, like, a lot of people that were vets and stuff living there. And it's not, like, a bad thing to give them housing as, like, veterans and stuff. But if they're working their PTSD out through, like, spitting in people's faces and beating the shit out of them, that's, like, the worst possible fucking thing you can do. All that does is reinforce what's fucking somebody up emotionally and mentally. You know? It's fucked up. You know, and then there was the whole cheating on his wife scandal that, <laughs> that happened. I still have screenshots of that. If any of the people who do videos about that shit still want those. <laughs> That was, that was kind of funny. Um, Logan Looker goes, why is it still going on? Well, that's probably the reason why he moved, you know, because it was actually also in violation of city statutes that he was running it out of his house at the time. But anyway, 
Yeah, they broke a blood vessel in somebody's eye and all kinds of shit like that. And they did this, the same thing Greg did with the fake in, NDAs and tried to, like, sue, you know, because they were threatening to sue. Oh, he signed a non-disclosure. It's like, who gives a fuck? It's, fuck your waiver. Is it legally binding? No? Fuck it. I'm suing. You can actually sue and still get your money under saying something under duress or false pretense, which is another thing that people that signed NDAs uh, under Greg's watchful eye for this Anision shit uh, should understand. You signed it under duress. You signed it under false pretense. You, if he tries to sue you for exposing what happened under the NDA, you can counterclaim with that. You can. Because he lied to you to get you to sign it. Hell, my favorite video of yours is the one you did on Ponder Sprocket. That Canadian bum got her ass told. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I remember that fucking shit. Hannah94 asks, what happens to that happened to that mess that used to be EO lives on, exposing Anision lives on? Ah, uh, the same thing that ends up happening with smaller anti-Anision communities, unfortunately. There's not a lot of loyalty or cohesion after a while, and they end up just having a lot of mutiny and inner attrition, and they fall apart that way, unfortunately. You know, that's what happened to a lot of these groups over the years. And it doesn't mean that the people at an individual basis that were involved in them are bad. No, it's just that when you're involved in a group that is going after a common enemy, I mean, you know, the smallest of dramas and stuff, you start, it just starts getting really negative amongst the people that are individually within it. So I think that in the current state of things, the way that it's being handled now, when it's just across like an image board, like lol cow, and then something like Kiwi Farms, and then it's spread to Twitter on different platforms of social media. I think that it's a lot better that it's done that way than it's ever been done in the past before because it's being basically shared amongst a large enough kind of environment for those smaller things to not be that big of a problem. Because whenever you go on LolCow and you just browse through the threads and you see a lot of people getting banned for stupid shit that happens within them, um, that kind of shit used to kill these groups back in the day back in the day you know because there was nobody as an outside third party moderator to just stop the shit posting for a while and then shove everything back on track uh thrash metal go guru goes anyways i got to get rolling i got to write my western story uh update me on that it seems really neat uh catch you guys later take care thanks for stopping by out of the few YouTubers I watch on a regular basis, just call me. Paul says, you're one of the best I watch. Your music and what little you show of your life uh, is a major inspiration. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you know, I, I want to do more walk and talks, but, you know, where it is that I'm living right now, it's not exactly easy to do them because there's nowhere for me to really do them at. Um, but that should change very soon. So I'll get back to doing those. I'm glad you enjoy the music. Uh, I, if more people want to check out my music, by the way, there are links in the description box of this video for you to do so. There are links in the description box to check out the different projects that I do, uh, my different social media. Feel free to follow me on that. I would greatly appreciate that. It helps me not only spread the message that I have in these videos against Denision, but also helps bring more awareness overall to people that are predators on social media platforms because trust me there are nisions everywhere and outside of that it helps bring awareness more to the other stuff i do outside of this like my music and all that kind of good stuff so feel free follow me on instagram follow me on twitter I have all those links below You should walk and talk and bring the talks <laughs> yeah the problem is i'll be just it'd be a walk and drag because them motherfuckers are strong <laughs> they will drag me down a mountain trail and be like oh look here i'm gonna go wherever i fucking want because i'm a doggo that weighs as much as a human being <laughs> you thought you were taking us for a walk motherfucker <laughs> and isian is a better musician than me okay prove it prove it guitar duel guitar duel I can pick any one of my weapons of choice <laughs> a gent duel but yeah this by the way is one of my favorites nice washburn eight string parallax very hard to come by these days washburn focuses more on acoustic guitars and I'm starting to wonder why they were great at making electrics 
Yeah, I'll even dime bag went with them for a long time. Ah, oh, he's just a troll, so don't worry about it. So let's see. Any more questions? Stop paying for animal abuse and I'll take you seriously again. What are you talking about? Animal abuse. Where, where, where the fuck did I pay for animal abuse? Where? Perhaps I paid to help animals get out of abusive fucking breeding shelters. You fucking cunt. Fuck off. Hey, like, I, you know, I'm not going to get into that shit. Stop, be, stop paying for animal abuse. Yeah, animal abuse, yeah. Is that why the motherfucker is in jail now? Fucking idiot. Anyway. It's so refreshing to see a YouTuber that isn't good at taking a compliment. <laughs> what do you mean isn't good at taking a compliment? <laughs> you look nice. Go fuck yourself! Be human! <laughs> Let's see. Because you eat meat. Oh, so what? My fucking animals eat meat. So what? There are so many fucking things on this planet that fucking consume meat. Get over it. Jesus fucking Christ. You really think that's going to be... You know what I would love to see is some of these vegan extremists and shit get put out in the fucking wild and see how long you fucking survive out there. You think a fucking mountain lion is going to give a shit if it fucking eats you for lunch? And it's going to go, oh, look, another living sentient thing. It doesn't give a shit. It's going to fucking eat you. <laughs> Onions, poor turtle. Oh, that shit pissed me off. Because I had a couple desert tortoises. And they actually, basically, they came with the house that I was living in at the time. It was my grandparents' place. And they basically, they came with the house. <laughs> it's like, my granddad told me, he's like, yeah, when we bought the house, they were out there. <laughs> they were a lot smaller than they were when I did that video. But he's like, yeah, they were there. <laughs> they were there. And, um, yeah, you know, and I took care of them as, as best as I knew how to take care of them. I mean, they pretty much took care of themselves, really. And they're still alive. I think one of them may have passed away, though, recently. I'm not sure. I, I know it wasn't Squirtle, but it was the other one. And uh, because he hadn't been seen, the other one hasn't been seen in a while. Basically, what they did is there was an area that was concrete that was on the side. It was like a little side area to the home. And then, then we had the brick wall that went around the backyard, wrapped around to the, to the side of the front. So there was like a concrete area in the back. And then there was just like dirt and such. And there was that really like poofy, like Nevada desert dirt. I call it poof dirt because if you drop something in it, it's like such fine dirt. It's like poof you know sinks in what they did is they dug up underneath the concrete and then they made like a little shelter for themselves in there one day i put my <laughs> i put a camera uh, like a phone camera on a fucking selfie stick basically and i uh, had the flashlight on with the camera app just so and i put it in there just to see where they were living and they man they dug like almost all the it was like about 12 13 feet they dug all the way back They dug all the way back to the end of the damn thing. So, I don't know. I told my granddad that maybe he should, uh, you know, have me come out there at some point. Maybe I'd do that again because he hadn't seen him. It's like, oh, maybe I got to go down there and check to see if there's just a shell, you know, because I don't know. But, yeah, the whole turtle gate thing, it just pissed me off because it's like it's a defenseless fucking creature. It's a small little reptile. The fuck, his excuse for it was so fucking shitty. It was so fucking shitty. Oh, oh, you know, I need that thing for videos. 
I'm so upset that my turtle died. Don't you believe me? Fuck you. You did that shit for attention. Everybody got on my ass. They got on my ass. Oh, he didn't do that to get you to make a video about him. Yeah, he probably did. Now, I will say I pretty much jumped the gun real hard about it and started freaking the fuck out maybe a little too much about it. But you know what? I honestly do think he did that shit to get a rise out of somebody. Why wouldn't he? He's desperate for money. He's a fucking idiot who's down on his goddamn luck for everything at the time because he couldn't control the narrative about himself. You know? It's bullshit. Total and sheer bullshit. Let's see. Display capture two. Turn that off. Get this back up on the big screen. You know? Watch out for snapper turtles. Oh, yeah, those are out here. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I didn't know one was. They was trying to get across the street. I didn't want to run the fucking thing over. So I pull off. I just think it's a regular turtle, just kind of big, you know, because I'm an idiot. I pick it up. I carry it to the other side of the road. And he keeps going back into the road. So I get a stick to kind of like, you know, nudge him like, hey, dude, you no, know, I don't want to run you over, you know. That thing fucking snaps at the damn stick so hard. It's like a branch of a tree that's like this big around, okay? It it snapped the goddamn thing like that. Holy shit, that could have been my fucking arm. <laughs> I have never goddamn seen like a little thing like that. He jumped. The motherfucker jumped at it. I'm like, come on, dude. And he just jumps like fucking... It snaps the goddamn thing. Yeah, and he hissed. Yeah, they will hiss and want to bite the shit. He hissed, and then he started waddling at me. The little motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. Fuck it. You want to... That's your street, bro. Right, bro. That's it's your fucking street. That's I'm not fucking with you. He started waddling at me like... Get this motherfucker. I was fucking, I was, I had never seen something like that happen because I was used to the desert tortoises that I had back in Vegas. Like, you know, these pretty docile, small creatures, you know, not go fuck yourself. I'm a turtle, <laughs> you know, and he was pissed. <laughs> I guess he was, yeah, because he put his leg, he, when I picked him up to put him back on the side of the road so he was out of the street, you know, he put his little flipper. That'd be... <laughs> He's probably thinking, motherfucker, put me down. <laughs> I... <laughs> if he bit my hand, I guarantee you, I probably would be missing fingers. I guarantee you, because the amount of bite pressure that son of a bitch had to do to snap that the, the, that fucking branch in half like that, that's insane. You could hear it snap, too. It's like if you just take, like, a pencil and just break it in half, you know, but really, really loud. Just crack like that. I'm just like, holy fucking shit. And then this redneck pulls up in a truck across the road. He's like, you Okay. I was like, yeah, I've never seen that happen before. He's like, ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, 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 okay. You don't pick up them damn things. Jeez, use your head. You know, and he fucking drives off. And I'm like, oh, thanks, fucking Larry the Cable Guy. You know, late for a date with your sister, I guess, you know. But anyway, that happens out here, especially in Gastonia. Um, anyway... My husband bought a snapping turtle at home as a kid, and his mom found it in the laundry basket in his closet. <laughs> oh, I bet his fucking shit went down. <laughs> he was looking at it like, what? <laughs> it's fucking soft. I'll find my cats in the fucking laundry every so often, especially Coda. Like, she'll, she'll jump up and just sit in the laundry basket if it's, like, really, really full, like, to the top. Maria Egos. Do you think it's weird that he is so mean to his daughter? He was mean to Sarah for the first year or so, so he knew her because he wanted to have sex with her, but had to cover his ass and not make it seem like he wasn't attracted to her. Ever wonder if that's what he's doing with his daughter, too? Who knows? But I do worry about when she starts approaching her teen years, because, honestly, when it comes to people that are predators, there's no fucking boundaries. He can sit there and say, that's gross, that's gross. Yeah, well, you know what's gross? What you fucking did with Madison's kid. 
You know, like, why would that line of thinking even fucking occur to you? That just blows my mind. Okay? It blows my fucking mind. Like, why would it ever occur? You know, I didn't want to change her diaper, so I let her sit in her own piss and shit. Because if people knew I changed a baby's diaper and I saw their genitals, they'd think I was a pedophile. No, they think you're a pedophile because you had to make up that weird fucking Nambla member-like excuse for letting a child sit in their own piss and shit. You know? Apparently the kid had like a, a fucking bleeding rash. Because they, you know, like diaper rash is not a, it's not a joke, dude. I mean, you know, a, a, a child's skin is extremely sensitive. So, you know, for an adult, what might be just like a minor redness and irritation to a, a baby, okay? That's a huge fucking problem. Their skin is just so soft and sensitive, you know? Fucking left her sitting in her own piss and shit god imagine how this guy's gonna treat his fucking mom when she gets like dementia or some shit ah hold on my shit herself again hang on a second guys oh god is this going to bitch you oh jesus I, I remembered something. Uh, I basically set these videos up to restream and re go to BitChute. So if you're on BitChute, just look up some guy 27 on BitChute. You'll find me there. It's a great way to save my stuff. By the way, I'm Bonesy Jones. Bonesy Jones. Oh, Bonesy Jones. Little Lambsy Divey. I love that meme with a guy from Twin Peaks. My depression returning. Oh, mazzy dots and dazzy dots and little lambsy divey. <laughs> Is that's kind of what it feels like. Okay, there's one thing that I do need to look at really quickly here. Just Call Me Paul goes, so what's new? You'll be able to see pictures of cool new shit that I will be doing at the beginning of next year, this coming year, as I have the last couple years, if you're a fan of metal, because I work with something called 70,000 Tons of Metal, which is a fucking really cool cruise in which like bands such as, oh, what are the young kids like, uh, Meshuga? And fucking obituary and Exodus and Sepultura and Soulfly have been on. Oh, my God. You know, it was like a highlight of the first year that I did that. I do backline, which is basically stage setup and such like that. I turn a corner and fucking Stevie from Exodus is just like looking at me. He's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, what's up, other Steve? <laughs> oh, that was great. Meeting obituary before their set was great. Luvatai was great. It was fun shit. That was amazing. Bro, Billy, well, bro, watch the Billy Webb live stream video. Um, what is the Billy Webb live stream video, though? Um, because I've watched her video. I watched her uh, freak out, basically, um, about what the fuck he did to her. And that was about a year or so ago. So I don't know if this is something new. But yeah. But what else is new is working on new music. I'm going to be uh, trying out something different on another channel that I'm building content for and doing stuff for. Because I know people like kind of the spooky stuff I've done in the past, creepy posture readings, all that stuff. Uh, I really like urban exploration. I know I've done a lot of it over the years, but uh, never really did much with it on this channel. So. Maria Egos, from what he has described, I think he's abusing his kids and his son is emulating his father's behavior. I am on that wavelength as well. I think that he is just repeating what he sees going on in the household. I was in a household that was like that in semblances. Not with the creepy harems and shit. But let's say that uh, the way we raised kids back in my folks' time, we now know that is child abuse. 
and then arguments between the you know f uh, parental units as it were at the time it you you start especially in adulthood if you normalize it because you don't know it as abuse you emulate it you do and then on top of what it is that i have already which is ppd uh yeah not fun not fun at all it's fucking horrible and it takes a lot to really embrace therapy for that and to actually have it like actually start working because then you start building as well over time uh defense mechanisms that actually work against the therapy really so uh, with that in mind i worry so much about those fucking kids because greg's an idiot he he doesn't know anything about child psychology he doesn't know anything about how abuse can spawn abuse in a person he doesn't understand like why he is the way he is and he never will because he doesn't have the capability of doing so Therefore, that when he just fucking runs around the house and just screams at the top of his motherfucking lungs at these fucking children, they don't understand. They're like, I guess that's just the way mommies and daddies are. Because where their frame of reference for anything else than that be? You know? You know, some of the women that have been in his house, they've said these kids just become so attached to them. Because, for all I know, these women have been raised in environments that aren't, you know, insane. They know what being treated like an equal, decent human being is like, and they give that to these kids, and it's horrible. It's fucking awful. God, we'd be fucking awful, you know? A mini-me grows up to yell at one of his kids' fucking videos. Oh, Jesus. What, what the world would come to? Bring on the nukes. No. <laughs> Let's see. My fear is that Onion will make Kai take the fall, uh, cry. Ah, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> that was My fear is that Onion will make Cry take the fall, and he will have the kids on his own. Uh, I highly doubt that. Greg's, like I said, a bumbling idiot. I mean, in any sort of court situation, even in the fucking failure that is American family court system, the absolute abject nuclear fallout failure that is the American family court uh, system, d d bullshit, they'd let custody go to somebody like him. Now, I've seen cases where the custody will go to people that are worse than him, arguably. I've seen all kinds of crazy shit go down. Hell, I've been on the receiving end of crazy shit going down as well but he has a vitriolic ab abusive pattern of behavior okay and in a lot of situations especially where there's custody question uh, especially the custody being in question between people like him and kai they actually will talk to the kids they're like you know who do you want to go with you know and the fallout of a divorce you know that's something that happens but they also ask due diligence to do this, if I understand correctly. They will ask the kids, like, about what's the nature of the household anyway? Like, you know, when mom and dad were still together. They, those kids describe even, like, a fucking inkling of the shit that's gone down in that house. <laughs> Neither one of them are going to get custody. And what's really shitty about this is at that age... I mean, going to a foster family or an adoptive family, I mean, in and of itself, depending on the nature of the family you wind up going to, if it's not, like, even up to the parents, they don't even have a say. In and of itself, it's not always a bad thing, you know, unless you go to a house full of people that are crazier than the ones you just came the fuck out of. Um, at a certain age, what ends up fucking happening is, like, they just develop all kinds of attachment issues because they were already established in a family. They already were established in a familial union. So then they've got to reestablish those connections with new parents, with new siblings, with a new environment, with a completely new mode of parenting. Things that are completely foreign and alien to them entirely. And I don't think that his kids are going to be able to handle that at all. I, I think that it's going to be such a shock to them to be in an environment where there aren't random young girls that daddy met online being in and out of the fucking house where the mom and dad actually have stable jobs and don't just run around with a fucking camera in your face all the time, you know, where they don't fucking sit around and ignore them all day while they're just playing with their toys and go, shut up, I gotta make a video for Patreon. You know, 
where their dad isn't some water-headed fucking sped who just fucking sits around on his goddamn lazy ass all day doing fucking nothing for shekels on YouTube. I don't think they'll handle it well. I don't think they'll be able to efficiently attach at that point to a new family unit. I don't know. Because if you if, if it happens to a kid when they're like a baby, it's like... It's not like it's great, but it's kind of a little better because they don't remember any of that shit. You know what happened with me, my grandparents and my parents? I mean, that happened when I was like three or four. <laughs> I can barely remember any of it. And like, why would I need to anyway? Especially now, both my parents are dead. Right. <sighs> anyway. Logan Looker goes, there are still parents who think it's okay to beat their kids. Yeah, and those people can die in a fire. Fuck those people. I understand corporal punishment, okay? It's like a disciplinary thing. I understand, you know, in certain circumstances. But if you're doing this bullshit, you know, like where you're hitting your kid with a shoe, it's like, oh, we don't piss off mom. She hit us with a shoe. Yeah, we should hit your mom back with a shoe because she's a bitch who's beating you, okay? It doesn't matter if she's fucking... It doesn't mean that she has to, like, take you to the mat like she's, you know, fucking Tito Ortiz or some shit. I don't fucking know. You know? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Hitting a fucking kid who has done something minimally wrong, okay, is still not good. It's, you know, it really sabotages and fucks up the trust in their parent. Greg doesn't know how to be a dad to his children. Chelsea Courier says, I, I, I agree. He doesn't know how to, well, he could barely fucking raise animals. How the fuck can he be tasked to raise children? You know, he has no idea what the fuck to do. He doesn't know anything about like what kids actually fucking need. <laughs> you know, there are people out there that have the temerity to say that would be a tall statement coming from me, but it's like, well, what the fuck do you know? Exactly. I know that it's not right for somebody to go scream into a toddler's face, take some responsibility. And it's not like I haven't seen this precedent before in real life play itself out. I have, oddly enough, you know, I'm not going to name names, but I was around people that were in some kind of weird relationship. The guy was like legally married to one woman and then he was hand fasted to another, he had kids with both, some from a previous marriage, you know, one of the older ones, he was approaching my age group. He was like 18 years old and I was like 25. And he was all pissed off at the kid because the kid was smoking pot. He was making his friends and family with low lives he met on the street. And it's like, well, you know, maybe the reason is, is that his father figure is this fucking degenerate who won't grow the fuck up and stop reliving his fucking mid twenties in his damn near fucking early mid forties. Who's threatening to beat the shit out of him because he's smoking pot. Why the fuck would you ever want to trust somebody that's running around with somebody who's just arm candy? You just hang on him all the time at events and shit. Who's not his mother. He has no fucking idea how to really attach to. Kind of just like showed up one day. It's like maybe if you didn't have this bizarre broken family unit at home that he has no idea to attach to. You know. <laughs> so it's not like I haven't seen shit like that before. Yeah. <laughs> And then people wonder why I have issues with, like, Vegas and shit. Like, yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not naming names. I don't give a fuck. You know? Fucking let him run his fucking scam. Let, let, him, let him fuck people over and use people. Fucking cunt. Anyway. And it's the kind of, it kind of was, like, interesting to me, too. Because, like, when I was really watching it all go down, it was, like, really the height of my uh, onion response days. So it was, like... I started to understand like what I was seeing go down with them because I was watching it play out online. <laughs> you know, like when somebody tells you, yeah, you know, I kind of got put into a situation I wasn't prepared for, but I guess I kind of handle it. It's like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Tell me your tales. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, And, and, you know, you come to find out people try talking them out of it over the course of a couple of years. They just keep running back to it. It's the same thing with the, it's the same thing with people like uh, Kai and Onion, really. You know, it's like they, 
it's like a dependency thing. With with Kai and Onion, I think in their particular case, it's a matter of they both know they have the same thing wrong with each other. And for Kai in particular, a matter of they have no resources really to leave because they have no skills. What are they going to fucking do? You know? In the other case, it was like, well, I kind of got like kidnapped into this situation and I just make myself okay with it because I got nowhere else to fucking go. And now that I'm kind of stable within it, where am I going to fucking go from here? You know? Ollie Goldenor says, "Where it happened? To, what happened to your comic books in the background of your old videos?" Oh, I still got them. I still have my comic collection. I just got it in the closet over there. I'll put it in long boxes and stuff. I just I didn't like having them up on the walls. What what I found out is that a lot of the walls um, paint that they put in places like where I'm living and where I was living before it's extremely abrasive. So even if you've got it bagged and then you've got the backer board and then the comic, the paint basically it's just going to eventually like kind of the not, not the fumes because it's not like it's fresh. I mean, this shit was painted probably like fucking 10 years ago, but it's like the chemicals within it. They can get through all that and then they start yellowing your comic books like really badly. And I have some really choice collection uh, collectible uh, cl comics within my collection. Signed pieces, rarity, uh, variant covers, first edition. Um, I have a couple first edition darkness. I've ever read the darkness comics. I have a few first edition uh, Jim Balance tarots as well that are like <sighs> nice porn, basically. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, medieval fantasy demon porn. What the fuck? You know, it's like, yeah, okay, cool. I mean, you know, boobs. <laughs> All right. Uh, I actually got to get my hands on some of uh, the Dog Witch comics. I got to get my hands on some of those. Like, I have digital copies of them. Digital of them because I was the only way I could find even fucking read them. I need to get some actual, like, hard copies of them. Because they're amazing. And I just love the character design for Violet within that. It's fucking awesome. Let's see dr3d1 london is a bigger toilet than vegas unfortunately corporal punishment is legal in the uk households it's not in germany and kids are just <laughs> uh do you post and poll out of curiosity <laughs> Um, honestly, I mean, I've got fans from all over the place, so I'm not really going to talk too much shit, but I will say that I've heard London can be like, not really that clean. Like it needs a lot better civic planning and a lot better public sanitation from what I have understood. Do you need, do you know any good glass emulation synths? Um, what do you mean by glass emulation? Like the... You know the, the little glass like those um because nearest i can think you can just find any uh vst that can do like really big pad synth sounds just take the voices of the pads down until you just have like your top register your your your, your higher octave and then just kind of put a shitload of reverb over the top so i don't know <laughs> You know, something like maybe like a pluck sound or something like that, you know, and to just put, you know, like the reverb and delay like really high, bring the attack down a bit. And then instead of just like a hard pluck sound, you have, you know, kind of like kind of like that glassy little twang at the top. I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do an experiment and try to build one of those sounds. Sounds interesting, actually. It'd be kind of neat. I could use it as a bottom layer for like pluck sounds and stuff. Like in that one. Uh, dead mouse track he's like a really really neat like little chorusy pluck sound it's really cool <clears throat> how do you feel about Anision having made out with Shane Dawson it's fucking gross not because it's two dudes making out so don't take that the wrong way it's because of how he did it it's just so like Bleh! give me your face let me be all forceful and fucking gross and creepy Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. 
I'm going to read this. Don't get upset. I'm not going to even say who said it. Dude, I wasn't literally saying eating meat is paying for abuse. I was answering your question and saying that's what Pink Moon person was talking about. I literally immediately followed up by saying she's wrong. and I don't really appreciate being lumped in with dumbasses like her when I literally also eat meat. No, I wasn't yelling at you. <laughs> I was yelling at her. Uh, I'm sorry that you took it that way. Um, <laughs> no, I wasn't even addressing you at all. No. But, you know, here's the thing. Okay, I'll just I'll get into it real quick. A couple of my animals were from a shelter, supposedly a shelter. And the way that shelter was run, the person was extremely abusive and was breeding the fuck out of the animals. So getting them out of there was the best possible thing for them. So I thought that because I did that, they were shitting on me over it. So I, I had no idea it had anything to do with meat eating, actually, because like the comments scroll and I'm like, I, what are you even fucking talking about? So I thought they were taking me to task for going to those channels. And I'm like, why is that a bad thing? <laughs> you know? And now for my understanding is that motherfuckers in jail anyway for what they were doing. So good. Fuck them. You know, I, I, I hate breeding places like that. They just take an animal. They just breed it and breed it and breed it. So you have like this brood mare practically, you know, that's been bred to fucking death. And then they don't think that, you know, there might be genetic deficiencies that end up starting to happen into the young. It's like, well, what do you think? Yes. <sighs> Fucking sick. What do you mean supposedly a shelter? It was a fucking breeder who was trying to say, oh, look, it's a sanctuary, you know, for certain animals. So they were misrepresenting their business, and it's like, yeah, it was. A, I thought they were talking about something like that, but I'm not going to get too much into it. But anyway, let's see something else. I remember when the garbage men at Amsterdam went on a strike once. Yeah, I saw that. And then didn't farmers in the Netherlands do about the same thing too? When I when I rolled through Amsterdam, it was actually really, it was actually really clean. It was quite nice. Cold though cold and it wasn't like you know the typical kind of cold you get here where it's just like well okay it's winter it's like it's like that fierce nordic cold you know like fuck you it's cold <laughs> it's like somebody just took a big invisible sheet of ice and just fucking hit you with it <laughs> yeah I feel the girls in the room were trolling Shane Dawson because they noticed how obsessed Greg was with Shane. I feel that too. I think he's got a lot of repression. I really do. I think he has a lot of repressed feelings that he was never allowed to explore being in a crazy household with somebody like fucking crazy Tammy. I think that's where a lot of his distaste and hatred for women comes from because it, it, at a certain point, it just stops being, you know, he has problems with women emotion. It's a fucking hatred. It's an absolute, like, I hate women. That's why I want to degrade them. And he won't come out and say it. Another thing, and I've wanted to kind of get into this for a bit now. I wonder to the degree which he can even decompile, comprehend a lot of the criticism that he gets. Can he actually understand a lot of the argumentation that he receives on an intellectual level? Or is he just responding in, 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 in opposition to the words that he's hearing? Does he actually get what people are saying to him is what I'm trying to get at. Because it gets to a point where it's like, I don't think you understand what you're, you know, what I'm trying to get across to you when it's been in the debates. And when he like responds to response videos, you know, it's like, you're missing the point. It's like, can he even understand the point? Is he actually intellectually capable of like understanding like what people are bringing to the table? You know, so I don't know. Maybe he has a dick size to match his IQ. It's just, it's weird. You know, because there's so many times where I, I, I was in those debates where I'm just thinking to myself, you know, this guy's keeping himself on tangents. Is it to just derail the conversation to distract from the substance of the argument? Or is it because he needs to go on a tangent to talk about something that he's more relatable to because he can't understand what I'm bringing up? Even if it's just somebody yelling at him, you know? And the fact that he takes everything so literally, you know, literally, um, 
but he takes everything so literally. I mean, it's to such an absolutist degree. I'm like, do you have, are you on the spectrum? And I'm not putting people with autism down, but it's just very strange because he's hyper focuses in on so many things. It's weird. <laughs> you know, uh, the best description of having autism that I ever heard was from a, a book written by a person that has autism and they were trying to like basically describe what it's like for people that don't have it. And they said that basically the best way to describe it is if you walk into a room as somebody without it, you just see the, you know, the general arrangement of furniture. You know, it's like, OK, this is what the arrangement of the, wor uh, the room is. But with autism, you hyper focus in on something within that arrangement. It's like, OK, there's the room. By the way, this table has eight legs or whatever, you know stupid shit like that or this chair has four legs and there's eight screws per leg or something like that something completely irrelevant and inconsequential and within those debates and those conversations that we had um it was strange he would do similar shit you know it's like oh you said this you said this let me hyper focus on this let me hyper and i'm like do you even recognize that you're doing that do you even notice that you're doing that you know and with kai's BA from a diploma mill piece of shit fucking paper in psychology. It's like, would she even know to notice that? <laughs> I don't know. Maria E goes, when people are hating on him, he goes to his happy place and his happy place is just very fucked up. I get those vibes too. Like his, his normal state of being is just in complete negation of what a normal person's, a neurotypical person's state of being and happiness should be had. Like he's happy and content and comfortable and being in a state of constant chaos. That's not good. You know, for the last, oh, damn near 15 years up until I started getting a real good grip on things for myself, that was mine. And it's not a good place to be. It doesn't do anything for you that's good. It just keeps you in that constant state of emotional flux, and it can be a fucking pain in the ass to ever get out of it. Let me see. This isn't displaying. I just realized the entire time this logo I took all this time making has not been displaying at all during my entire stream because I don't even know if it's in the same folder anymore. Let's see. It's not. Oh, damn. I think Greg is a sadist, a sex addict, narcissist. I think Greg is a sex addict, narcissist, sociopath, and sadist. Ah, he can fit into each one of those categories pretty easily. He's definitely a sex addict. Cloudy Wolf goes, the best way I can describe having autism is like having a different OS than a neurotypical person. <laughs> We're running on Linux. Hence the bugs. <laughs> Hence the bugs. <laughs> pretty much let's see there finally it started to load All right, let's see if I can't locate this somewhere else in here. I made a really neat logo for this, and I basically just dumped it in a folder somewhere, and now I'm kind of bothered as to where the hell it went. Uh, maybe it wound up on my desktop, and I just was stupid and reframed it. Let's see. No? Oh, maybe because I'm fucking dumb. Okay. E, go back again. All files. And perhaps I stuffed it in there. Mm. There we go. Yes, I did. 
There we go. It popped up at the top. I love the way that came out. I was trying to do like an outrun sort of thing with this whole background and theming and such. I try to make different little accoutrements for it as well. This is a really neat theme pack for OBS. Let's see. I have Asperger's, Chelsea Curieger goes, and I have trouble with words a bit. So, whoops. Uh, you know, there's a dyslexia component to it. I have it as well, but just very mildly. So, social awkwardness is really a big part of it for me, which is kind of the reason why this kind of shit happens so infrequently, because I got to, like, force myself to do it. It's weird. It's like a compulsion to be socially... Uh, almost I would say afraid to like engage in social situations with people even though there's no realistic reason you should be afraid to do so it's very strange and compulsion you use um, I think somebody used the word compulsion earlier and that's exactly the right word for it because it's what it feels it's like a compulsion it's like what, what people that are going to watch you for the most part they're going to enjoy watching you so why are you freaking out so or the occasional awkward joke that basically bombs and you're like, oh, fuck. You know. Yellow Flash 200 goes, if you'd accused him of being on the spectrum, you put up a believe that you were talking about the color spectrum. Yeah, or probably would actually think that's what I meant because, he, like I said, takes things so fucking literally. That's why he goes and depends on just dictionary, oh, sorry, dictionary definitions for everything. It's weird. It's like he's completely incapable of doing anything else. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, shit. I fucked it up. Stevie, I'm an artist in the Netherlands. Check out my channel sometime. I'd love to collab with you on sometime if you're interested. Oh, what kind of artist are you? Are you uh, an artist artist? Like drawing or a music artist? I think he said it's mild. Yeah, it's just very mild. It, I don't even know if it could classify as that. I think it's basically just social awkwardness. It's just a result of what I already have that I deal with. Perhaps it's completely just, you know, related to that and not something else. I don't know. But it's definitely a, it's something that I've, uh, I've obviously noticed over the years. Uh, it's like a, it's what it is is for me. It's like an aversion towards so, like overtly socializing with people and i don't understand like what it is like there's nothing inherently wrong with it because you know it's like a fear i guess of negativity in, in that whole overbearing blanket of interaction you know with some of the people that have come forward about onion and stuff like i haven't engaged with you not because i don't want to um it's because of that. So it's very weird. And not only that, it's something I've only noticed that's really gotten in my way over the last couple of years. So it's only onset it maybe in the last four or five years. It's strange. So I don't really I don't really know how else to describe it than that. It's very strange. It's like an overwhelming, you know. It's like something that's just overwhelming. I don't I don't I don't understand it fully. It's weird. <clears throat> Firefly though says it's like he has no personal morals and he defends heavily he depends heavily on laws because they're only they're the only standard he can use without his own personal standards same way he depends on uh, Google definitions yeah, pretty much but I mean it, it comes to a point too where he's broken the law like outright you know what he did with the taxes that's fucking illegal any 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 fucking person that's done accounting or anything like that can tell you that's fucking illegal you know <laughs> I, like when i get my taxes handled and all that shit i mean yeah i just out of curiosity i, I brought that up briefly it's like you know you deal in accounting you know yeah and they're really like, yeah i you know i brought it up to them they're like how the fuck is this person not in jail because what they did is defraud the irs and i'm like I don't know. Then I brought it up to him that the IRS had made a visit to his house. Like they actually stopped by his place and um, 
they did like an investigation or whatever. And the guy goes basically, you know, this is a conversation. I mean, it's not somebody I'm reporting him to, but this is a conversation I've had with like a, a person that helped me with taxes uh, one time. And he goes, I've never heard of that kind of shit happening outside of like major corporations. And I go, what? And he's like, yeah, the amount of money that you got to owe the IRS for them to go down and actually investigate you in person, you know, like to go through your house and shit. Like you have to basically, it's like basically that happens when like big companies go like belly up and shit. And there's word that there might be something in, you know, a little bit above board on their bookkeeping and shit. I'm like, oh, fuck. And he's like, yo, fuck is right for an individual taxpayer, you know to do that not a larger business it's fucking crazy <laughs> he's like in 20 years of doing this i've never actually heard of that happening to an individual taxpayer i'm like oh okay 20, 20 years is a long time in reality He did a post on Reddit about it. He asked people for advice. I saw that, but I don't know if that's a troll. I don't. Because it it, it so could be. The way the whole thing was written. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, it was like somebody had taken a really good look at like the whole thing and the way it was going. It was like, I'm going to fucking nail it. You know, piece by piece. Yeah. I don't know. It could have been, though, because he's stupid enough to do shit like that. Hell, Kai was stupid enough to go into a parenting group on Facebook and then fucking yammer on about how they had to have their kids' teeth, like, when they were just, like, tod like, little tiny, like, just, uh, just out of being, like, actually a baby. You know, cavities and stuff filled in. It's like, how do you get fucking cavities, like, milk teeth and shit? You know? How, do, how does that fucking happen? You know, I just I breastfeed them all the time, and I'm like, how in the fuck do you get cavities from breast milk? Like, is that possible? Like, I, I obviously I'm not gonna like attach a baby to the tit, and you know, Peter Griffin them, or you know, <laughs> Kimmy <me> a baby. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but I can't imagine that breast milk would have anything like enough in it to be abrasive enough to cause like cavities. Like, what are you having so much sugar in a day? That it's, like, bonded with your biology? Like, <laughs> like, how does that fucking happen? And she posted it in, like, some parent group and other people, and they were like, what? <laughs> so they're dumb enough to go online and post really stupid shit that they probably shouldn't post. Kapara goes, something being illegal or legal doesn't mean it's moral or immoral. There are things... Uh, that are illegal to do now because we realize they're immoral. But before we realize what were, uh, were illegal to do despite being immoral. Exactly. Exactly. Morality does not uh, enter into the eyes of the law. They don't give a fuck as lawmakers about the morality or immorality of something. You know, it, it's basic. Well, here's the, okay. It's not based on your personal definition of morality. Okay. It's based on, you know, is this going to is this act going to infringe upon the autonomy, the agency, the safety or just general well-being of other people? Essentially, you know, I mean, in Greg's world, because he gets a traffic ticket, you know, it is. Uh, what, 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 did, what did Chris Chan's little world get called in his comics? Quickville in his little Quickville, Greg Grugville, Grugville. Somebody should do a fucking Chris Chan-esque comic on Grug's fucking escapades, I swear to God. You know, like a Sonichu epic on the world of Grug. Because in Grugville, if he gets like a traffic ticket that personally inconveniences him, he's going to repeal all laws to do with like traffic violations. So people are going to be out there like drunk driving and shit, flying down the highway, you know, zoomer as fuck in their wannabe GTR V-spec at like 140 miles an hour. Oh, God. All those people can crash and die in a fire, as far as I'm concerned. Ew. And I like GTRs, but I don't like... I don't like ricer cars. I hate that shit. Oh. Let me get a mid-2000s Corolla. And then fucking boost it with a fucking piece of shit exhaust that sounds like a fucking leaf blower. <laughs> Let me put 100 octane racing fuel in an engine that wasn't built to handle the intake and then blow all the welds on everything within the fucking goddamn engine block. 
<laughs> Why do all the piston rings look like fried onion rings? <laughs> I've seen that shit before. That was funny. <laughs> I've seen that shit before. In my old neighborhood, somebody lived down the block, used to do racing and shit, and he had blown the shit out of this RX-7 that he had. It was actually a nice RX-7. But he comes in, and it just, I'm like, I hear it. I hear it. It just sounds like death on wheels. I'm like, what in the hell happened? I thought he was in a car wreck and he managed to drive it back. So I just go walk down, you know. I've got like a Mountain Dew in my fucking hand. Just walk down there. I'm like, you know, what'd you do? (laughs) What'd you do? He opens it up and it's like the inside of his fucking engine is just black. It's like this color, everything. It's just like burnt out. Oh my God. It smelled like burnt toast and motor oil. It's like, what did you do? And he, he, he did that. He actually put 100 octane racing fuel through a regular fucking engine and just fucking blew the shit out of it because it made the vehicle work so fucking hard. It couldn't process it. couldn't deal with it. It just fucked the entire thing. It's like, next time you do that, put it in a fucking goddamn... Um, I'm actually surprised it was even able to burn, to be honest, because it's not meant for that. It's meant for specific purposes. And also, it was kind of like, where did you in the city find a fucking gas station that could fucking dispense that? <laughs> where, <laughs> you know, I may want to experiment. Like, what happens when I put this in a two-stroke chainsaw motor? <laughs> why, Louis, why, la, Lu, I don't know what the fuck your name is. I'm so sorry. Remember Chaotica, When She Falls, music video that you listened to? Yeah, because a member of the band that uh, was in that video actually messaged me about it and thought that video was funny. I think I still have that video uh, up. If not, I think I still have it on my hard drive. But even more interesting, I think I still have that message somewhere if YouTube didn't nuke all of the PMs people used to get. But I remember I got contacted by a member of the band. I think it was like the drummer. I'm sorry, I can't remember. It's been ages. But he was like, yeah, you know, actually, to be honest with you, looking back on that, it was kind of (laughs) weird. I'm like, hey, but you know what? You made an effort. And it's kind of interesting, too, because I made a comment that they had a, a contract with the company called Future State, which made cyber goth clothes. And I'm like, why does this look and this sound like together? <laughs> it doesn't match. <laughs> you know, you, you, you got a clothing company that does stuff. I think that, you know, you'd see maybe better in an aesthetic perfection video or maybe a Grendel video. And here it is on this band that's like pop punk rock industry. I'm like, what is this? You know, but the fact is they had their heart in it and it fucking was kind of like charming. It's like this exists. We don't give a fuck. It exists. I was like, I can't hate that. It's like pop punk bands like SR 71. It's like their songwriting is the most cheese songwriting ever. It's the most generic songwriting ever. And funny thing is they don't care. And if I were Mitch Allen, their singer, I wouldn't give a fuck either because that man is fucking making bank. You want to know why? You remember that song from Bowling for Soup, 1985? He wrote that shit, meaning he got probably a shitload of the royalties off it because his band originally fucking played it. And I guess for some reason he sold the rights to the song to Bowling for Soup and that shit fucking exploded. But that was their song to begin with. And he's done a lot of songwriting for different bands. You know, they've had like one-off singles and shit like that over the years. Hell, I I wouldn't be fucking surprised to find out he may have penned like Stacy's mom and shit like that. I don't know. But. Yeah. Mountain Dew is vegetarian friendly. Mountain Dew ain't friendly to me. Mountain Dew fucking drives me up a wall. I used to love Blue Voltage. A funny story about the the blue voltage actually i was uh <laughs> um <laughs> in my early 20s uh, i got a copy of killing floor the first one from best buy i actually do have an actual boxed copy of killing floor one and uh when i got that i mean i, I just fell in love with the game i thought it was fucking great just fun times online with people and uh, i used to stock up on mountain dew blue voltage i went through two packs in one day and that's back when they had the super potent formula in it because back when it first came out it was like fucking like really super potent i drank two fucking packs of that shit i didn't sleep for like four days 
Holy shit. That was the stupidest fucking thing I ever did. Because, <laughs> like, one guy goes offline. You know, he's like, hey, great game, guys. Good game. You know, GG, whatever. He goes offline. A couple days later, he comes back on. He's like, hey, what's up? And I was like, not much. Still gaming. And then he goes to me in chat. He's like, what do you mean still gaming? And I was like, yeah, I didn't stop. He's like, it's been three days. What do you mean? You haven't slept? <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> and at that point, I think that was when I realized I may have had a problem. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? But, but the thing is, that's why if you find me on Steam, and if you can see like the hours I put into Killing Floor 1 as opposed to Killing Floor 2, that's why I have so many fucking hours in KF2 probably. You know. I used to go into, um, oh God, I forgot the name of the server. It, maybe some of y'all went in there too. If you are and you were regulars, hey, what's up? Cybernetica, that was my name at the time. I used to go into the one where it was like the Mario. It was like Mario, like the original Mario games, but it was all 3D rendered out. And it was like the 30 plus person like mayhem servers where you had like the little um, sentry bots that would automatically heal you. You could like deploy sentry turrets and shit from like a uh, portal that would auto fucking shoot like the zombie hordes down, you know? So it was fucking crazy. You get like 900 to a thousand zombies per wave. Somebody asked uh, thoughts on killing floor two. I mean, the DLC thing is kind of cool that they're doing now because they're keeping people interested in killing floors property by doing so, because it's like neat little things that you can get if you're willing to put the money down for it and the money gets turned around and they actually use it for new shit with the game. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, the a huge attachment to steampunk. A lot of people don't like, <laughs> I'm okay with it. I love steampunk shit. I think that's fucking cool. I just wish that they would give you the ability to get the old DJ Scully steampunk outfit in a, in the new graphics. Because I, lo I loved that when they did that for the uh, first Killing Floor. Where he had, like, the bronzed, gold-plated, like, skull faceplate mask. That was cool as fuck. Um, but, yeah. Also, they need to give the one uh, character better hair. The metal chick. What, Anna, I think, is the, the name of the character. The, the, the mohawk on the character model is, like, stupid. I don't like it. It's, like, that's a cosmetic thing. T-Bone Howard asks, what kind of guitars are those? Washburn, Parallax, 8-string, Agile, uh, Aqua Green, 7-string, LTD, Custom, 6-string, and then an Ibanez Geo 5-string bass. So this is the Custom 6-string uh, that I've got here. I love this thing. It's a fucking beast. But it only has 4 strings because I need to restring it. Because I over tuned them. That was not good. And I need to restring the Ibanez Geo here and give it a little bit of a cleaning, but yeah. I'm ready to play Primus now. Uh, BC Rich, ever owned one? Never owned, but played a bunch of them before. Uh, Warlock, an iconic fucking shape for a guitar. The thing, though, about BC Rich Warlocks, I mean, they look cool as fuck. They really are an entry-level guitar. I don't give a fuck. People are going to shit on me for saying it. I don't give a fuck. They really are. Because they have, like, that really twangy fucking, like, this is my first fucking metal guitar kind of sound. And they're hard to get really sounding good. You have to, like, take out the stock shitty fucking BC Rich P uh, uh, pickups that are put in them. You know? You've got you to gotta put new shit in them, basically, to get them to a, a much better standard favorite guitar god was gary richrath very underappreciated indeed indeed uh for this guitar in particular when i'm talking about pickups i mean this uh, this motherfucker is saddled with uh, a couple of seymour duncans right here i do want to check out ormsby guitars new dino Cazares signature model dino Cazares from fear factory he's got a signature model with ormsby i do want to check out and it looks metal as fuck jesus christ this fucking thing looks badder than hell so basically, think of like this, but it's got red and black camouflage pattern all over it. And I'm like, dude, I need that. 
They've got one that's like a deep, like deep set violet purple sort of color. I'm like, and then they've got one that's like a flat kind of like matte black. I'm like, God damn it, dude. If these weren't like, what, two grand a piece, I would buy the whole fucking set. <laughs> and they, they, they look like they sound like monstrous too. Absolutely monstrous, you know, because he's really got that really nice chunky fucking tone that he had with Fear Factory and Divine Heresy as well. Asasino. I love that shit. I mean, they got uh, Tony Campos from fucking Static X. That's a bass player. So, I mean, how do you feel about power metal like Blind Guardian? I like power metal. I like power metal. Um, you know, Power Wolf is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Sonata, Sonata Artica. They, they they may not qualify 100% as power metal, but they have their moments. I mean, you know, they got that kind of like fantasy sort of shit. Um, like, what what's the, the the deal with like power metal? You know, like what what bands would you throw under that uh, general umbrella? <clears throat> but Blind Guardian's fucking great. Was prefer it was let's see. Was pursuing Westfield Shepherd's Bush to see if Greedfall was in stock. Uh, I don't know what any of that is. New metal like Limp Biscuit. I don't diss because Wes Borland is a boss guitar player, and I don't know if I've said this before, but he bl he blocked me on a on Twitter. <laughs> Not because I did anything wrong. He did a post where. He was saying, if you're going to vote for Trump, let me know now so I can block you in advance. Oddly enough, like I wasn't even intending on voting at all at that point. So I just said yes, and he blocked me. And there were thousands of people on this fucking comment. So I'm like, oh, well, shit. Um, at least you're a man of your word, which I can really respect. You know, he said he would do it. He did it. And I'm like, okay, well, shit. You know, <laughs> Fred Durst is an ass, though, and a douchebag to women. I don't disagree with that, but I'm not going to say that his band itself is shitty because their drummer is fantastic, their bass player is fantastic, their, their guitar player is fantastic, even their DJ. Their DJ is great and some of his own like solo stuff, but Wes Borland is an absolutely great guitar player, and he's got a very unique style, too. I mean, if you listen to some of the instrumentals that Limp Bizkit have out there that you can find on YouTube, I mean, some of the stuff... Like for um, Star, what is it? Starfish, I think it's the name of the track. Oh, fuck, I just forgot. Well, well, whatever. I mean, the idea to literally just do nothing but whammy bar dives and poles as the entirety of like how you pattern your chorus. That's nuts. Okay, that's so cool that you would decide to do something that's basically just stupid. <laughs> you know, and then don't go off wandering is really neat. So is Boiler, you know, because he's got really these really hollow and I created like my versions of them too these really hollow kind of ambient textured tones and such you know that he'll use in a lot of tracks it, it's very nice it's very neat uh let's see other new metal bands that i liked over the years was shit like papa roach and shit when i was young now they just turned into like fucking dad rock practically i don't even know what the fuck to call them <laughs> embarrassment metal retirement home and i don't know what the fuck it was weird too because it got like really prog for a while i don't understand why it was random like they took like a really weird prog metal approach to their music at one time and uh it was strange like they were sounding like kind of gent and such and i was wondering like was this ghost produced in studio did you guys actually play this shit because it was so I mean, it was actually kind of good. Some of the riffs were good. They were like periphery inspired, but it was like, are, are you guys really playing this shit? Or did you have some other people sit down, you know, like, you know, ghost it for you? I don't know. Not saying that the guitar player isn't good, but it's just, you know, strange. It was very odd because it was so out of the framework of what I was used to hearing from them. Deftones. Oh, yeah. Huge Deftones fan. Been a Deftones fan since the 90s. I don't care. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, that actually works. Yeah, he has a lot of sounds that like that. Would you ever play a double guitar? Like what, a double neck guitar? Yeah, I would love to. I love that double neck guitar that the guy in uh, the Coheed and Cambria has. That thing's great. He's got the, the Gibson signature double uh, neck guitar. I was like, man, that shit must have cost you a pretty fucking penny. Jesus. That must have cost you a lot of money. I mean, Gibson SGs are already pretty expensive, but... Yeah, but my haters, like, I'm talented. <laughs> Old school rock like Chuck Berry. Yeah, because Chuck Berry basically invented the riff that became 80s from Killing Floor and also became fucking Come As You Are from uh, Nirvana. Don Dawkins solo band. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> and that's one of 80s, like, kind of dad metal I don't like fucking diss on either because they had their moments. Wasn't Dawkins... Like in um, Freddy 3 Dream Warriors. That's a sound I really like, this particular one. It's one I basically built for uh, this guitar in particular. Biscuit. FSology guests, what is industrial metal? Ministry, I don't give a shit. Somebody will re about this, I'm sure. Static X, yeah, they are. Jesus Christ. I don't understand how Wisconsin Death Trip isn't a fucking industrial metal record to people. Jesus Christ, half of it is electronic driven. Jesus. They recorded like live drums over electronic drums, overdubbed the actual drums, and then overdubbed the actual cymbals separate from each other. It did ass loads of fucking sampling fucking layers and shit, you know? How come Madame Tussaud's wax model of Mark Zuckerberg looks more way like a real person than Mark Zuckerberg? It's because Mark Zuckerberg's android skin suit doesn't hold up. It's an uncanny valley suit. <laughs> for old school industrial music says Chelsea Courier well kind of skinny puppy uh, front 242 needs a reb that kind of stuff
<laughs> what about Will Haven? I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. Ian Watkins is a chomo. Ian Watkins is a fucking chomo and a goddamn chump. And it's like, he wanted to do a new band from jail. How the fuck are you going to do that? Nobody would want to work with you. But my music was so good. It, it was okay. Fake Sound of Progress. Neat song. Neat album. Okay? And then everything else, besides the occasional single, because it was the best thing on the fucking record, Swill. Okay, you became like a sell. Like if I'm to uh, like look, uh, if I'm to look outside, if I'm to look outside the fucking shit he went to jail for, eh, you know the music was eh. Like I don't know, Shinobi versus Dragon Ninja, neat fucking title for a song, and you know, yeah. <laughs> neat riff but it's like <laughs> not worth going to jail for what he went to jail for fuck him oh by the way stevie pretty sure i removed finding a comment of yours i remember finding a comment of yours on the video for space lord oh fucking monster magnet yeah space lord mother mother <laughs> that if they ever do a duke nukem like live action movie that shit needs to be in the fucking trailer i don't know why but i've always associated that track with him you know it'd be a really cool like instead of one of those trailers where they show you the whole fucking movie in the trailer you know i don't know it'd be kind of cool and it's like kind of weird to me like a lot of video game characters even doom gets movies but duke fucking doesn't he's misogynist yeah, no shit. In the day and age with like SJW like running rampant and shit, I mean he'd be a great character to just fucking put this shit to death with, you know? God, could you imagine the outrage of that shit? Holy fuck, these people's heads would explode like fucking scanners. Lost Prophets wasn't even that good, and I still to this day wonder how their music got featured in Forza One. I found out about them with um what is it atv off-road fury 2 and that's actually where i found out about one of my other favorite bands which is up here called dead z hooray you know fun shit because they were on the soundtrack <laughs> plays the goddamn riff for T to Gramercy Park and sings at the same time. A lot of people think that band's cheesy. I'm like, play that song, power chords and bars and everything in it, and try to actually do vocals and that pattern on top of it. That shit will drive you crazy. It's like, how did you? How do you? Like, how do you do that? Is 57 too old to learn how to play bass? No, no, no. Unless you're like geriatric and can't even move anymore. <laughs> Icon, ironic considering that John St. John is a massive social justice warrior. He is. He is. Oh my god, he is? I had no idea. That sucks. Oh god, that sucks. <laughs> has a tuner built right in it. I'm 
how you say Chelsea career goes. I grew up with Mountain Dew Code Red in high school. They have a limited flavor out there called Voodoo. Saw it in a dollar store. Yeah, you would, because it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> Neat, though. I don't drink a lot of Mountain Dew. Is that a Star of David on the blanket? No, that's... that's <laughs> You know, no, I am not a Zog poster. Um. keyboard who's better dj snake or marshmallow i don't fucking pay attention to a lot of the top end adm djs anymore because i don't care about fucking uh joel's side projects oh i'm sorry i mean marshmallow whose music totally isn't ghost produced by fucking dead mouse yeah okay i i you know but i use the keyboard quite a lot i do actually uh the majority of stuff that i do where there's like really intricate keyboard lines i'm not putting it just in the piano roll on its own i basically do it with the the keyboard it's just easier that way it's easier to get like what i want to put down like out of my head and into the music Can you do a live scheme with keys soon? Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to get the sound routed through, though, because I'll have to go through an ICO driver, which listens to the direct input of stuff like this, so then I have to figure out how to output it. But, yeah. Uh, thoughts on Monster Magnet's last album. Which was their last album? Because the last one I listened to from them... Oh, fuck, I forgot the name of the track, but it's got the video where the girls, like, using all these psychic powers to raise, like, demons and shit. <laughs> it brings about the apocalypse. That was the last record I'd heard from them. Prodigy is fucking amazing. Prodigy got me into a lot of the rave culture and a lot of the electronic music in general. Same with Crystal Method back in the day. The face you make when you're really playing is the same as a pain face. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> The Doom guy's pain face. Ugh. It doesn't even look like that. When like the Doom guy gets like the pain face, it's like a glitch. Really, he's more like. Ugh. It's more like that.
headphones are glitching out. It's just one of the many songs that, or many sounds that I use. I use some uh, other kind of drier shit for recording too. This is one I kind of use for recording. <laughs> What headphones do you prefer? Skull Candy or Beats by Joe? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I, I try not to go meme tier with my headphones. Um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, but if they're what you can afford, they're what you can afford. Because I actually do production and I actually do mixing. I use these and you would think, oh, well those are just the same category. Well, they not. Let me tell you why. Because these Marshall headphones are basically mini Marshalls. They're built with the same fucking way that the Marshall full stack and half stack amps are fucking built. So they're basically like wearing a pair of mini Marshalls on your fucking head. So what's nuts about that is that it actually outputs the same frequency range that anything that my music's going to go live through. So I can actually get almost an innate frame of reference that way. And somebody's going to fucking go up there. No, you're not going to be able to do that. I worked for 16 years with a bunch of fucking shitty bar bands and fucking bands no one's ever heard of that were side projects and actually established people. That's not true. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, it is actually true. Okay. I don't suck sponsors, dick. I don't have to fucking worry about that shit. I'll tell you the truth. You know. But uh, they're, they're great. I use these all the time. That's one of the reasons why with a lot of my hardcore stuff, the fucking kicks have become so much better. They've become way more punchier and way more full because I can get an actual reference up close of like where the fuck the sound ranges need to be. So if you're going to actually do production, these Marshalls are not bad. I also want to try out some Audio Technicas as well. There's the reason why they're like uh, an industry standard, but yeah. <laughs> shit one thing i will say though is uh stock up on these because the headphones themselves are great they're cable to shit so they tend to die really fast the ones that come with it they tend to die really fast oh boy god it's almost seven o'clock holy fucking shit where the hell did my day go Emo charlie via twitter whoa what's this who's trolling oh okay never mind it's uh an artist okay Skull candies are good to listen to, but like I said, for production, you need something completely different because those kind of headphones are not going to put out this frequency range that you'll need. <laughs> In fact, with a lot of the ones that you use for production, a lot of people may think they may think um, they may think that they they actually suck. It's like no, there's a reason. Sometimes they're flat because <laughs> you're trying to go from a clean slate, but it's what they can output that's uh, what you need. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't around when Trust Company used to be 41 Down, but I remember that used to be their original name. Yep, <laughs> how to get your video demonetized. Fuck. I always 
always like those kind of chords. They sound so neat when you put like a third on top. <laughs> Street Boys. I won't play that. Like DJ Ashba of 6 a.m. I don't know who that is. I know that Nikki Six other other prods are. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Next week, he's going to be 34 years old. You're going to be 30 fucking four. God damn. How dare you be born in the same time of the year that I'm born to? Ew. So, yeah. He'll try to get a vegan cake. No, we should all wish him birthday, you know, tidings. You know, happy 34th, you fucking creep. He's 34 with no marketable skills, no way to work into the job market or anything like that. I know, it's hilarious. <laughs> He'll make a video and beg for gifts. No, I don't know. The last holidays he did live or something like that. He was like bummed he didn't get all kinds of expensive shit because his fucking spouse doesn't make any fucking money. Which I thought was hilarious. <laughs>
fuck, I thought I had an encyclopedic knowledge. <laughs> Yeah, he made another fucking Eugenia video, I know. Unplug this and put this up. Give me a second. I've been trying to make a better tone for the H string. It's just hard to get something that sounds decent for something that fat on this amp. But time will tell if I can do it. Let's see. Let me take a look. Oh, please don't tell me this is going to take away from the page that I'm on. Oh, it probably will. Okay, no, it didn't. I can't tell. Why is it loading another YouTube studio page? Oh God, it's rebumping the page, isn't it? I don't know what it's doing, guys. What's it doing? Right, let me close this one tab. Unable to connect to chat. Uh oh. And it won't stop either. Okay, refresh. What's going on? Oh dear. <clears throat> Maybe I should have just opened that in a new tab anyway. My bad. I'll shut down the other page, the Onion Patreon. I think this browser has borked itself because it doesn't know what the fuck to do now. Oh boy, this is fun. What did it do? The whole page is white now. Hopefully it won't shut it off if I close this, but I may have to. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. Okay, so give me a second, y'all. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, I needed to shut down the browser. I don't know what just fucking happened. Okay, is my YouTube completely fucked?
because it will not. Okay, loading YouTube Studio. Okay, fucking load my YouTube Studio. Jesus Christ. Why the fuck don't you assholes ever finish anything on this website? Why is every single thing on your whole site still in the beta stage? Fucking finish something and then put it out to the public. Oh, you know, your car will get white tires on it soon. We just got to finish building them. F Jesus. Now, apparently, I'm still fucking streaming because it's still sending it to the content server. But I don't know what that's worth when the window's closed. Could be just puking it out into the ether. And then that shit glitched. That's fucking lovely. Well, whatever it was, I can't watch it. And I need to fucking get this thing to go back to the live streaming page. So I don't know what's going on now. Oh, good God. It made another window. Why can't it just... Oh, Jesus. All right. So that happened. And I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but I'm going to stop it now. Oh, wait. Is it previewing? I don't even get to go to the link. Hooray. I don't even get to go live. I don't even know what just happened to my last stream. Ugh, whatever. Uh, fuck YouTube. They need to fucking get their shit together as far as a company's concerned because they have no idea how to get it together. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this because um, I'm going to have to jump off it now because this website's about to have a goddamn heart attack. And yeah, so until next time, take care.